It's like the third time I've been referred to as Rain Man on this podcast. Sorry, Dylan, makes you feel any better. I won't use DoorDash because of Terminator 2. Hunter, why are you sweating so hard? Hunter, dude, what's going on? Man, I'm just feeling stuck. Like, stuck in static. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Stuck in Static. We got Paris, Hunter, Dylan, and a very special guest for you today. This right here is none other than one of my best friends for a very long time. Uh, a lot of you probably know him as Cholo, but this is indeed Mario Martinez, everyone. Welcome, Mario Martinez, Woo! to the podcast. What's up? Let's go. Glad I'm here. Yeah. yeah. Let's go, dude. What's going on, Mario? Nothing much. Just excited to be stuck on static. Hey, yeah, that's yeah, what I'm we're excited about. to have you, man. We're excited to You're have you. You're the first you. person to hear that intro. So that's yeah. a, yeah. Uh, that's a new way. Yeah, that was a that's new a intro new we're throwing so in there. That's pretty dope. Yeah, pretty fuck dope. yeah. So right. I got a little bop bop on that. Yeah, yeah. 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 I was feeling good. So yeah, so we got you on here on the podcast because right. you and your family, you have started a food truck. Correct. Correct? Yep. Okay. Tell us a little bit about your family's food truck. How did you all get to this point? of like starting this so we had the idea for the food truck for a very long time now and then we just decided to just go on and full send it and mm -hmm. bought the truck and post it up at lexington green about close to two and a half years ago now and Word. after that we just started looking for spaces downtown and luckily enough we found one at the green lantern mm -hmm. shout out to the green Ooh, lantern okay. shout, out. Third. shout out yeah. shout out and uh we've been posting up there for Close to two. Oh yeah, for like two years now over there, just on the weekends, just selling tacos to drunk people, and it's fucking awesome. It's a great crowd for it. It's so crazy, <laughs> yeah. like seeing you. I remember because like your parents always worked hard as shit all the time, yeah, working yeah. at like Burger King or Johnny Carino's or whatever, all this shit, and then like to Johnny finally Carino's see them, yeah. like you know, tackle this new thing where they're like out here like trying to achieve this American dream type thing. It's just so dope to me. So like Lucy and Mario Senior. Hell yeah. I'm you guys are fucking, those, yeah, let's get one for them. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Bro, so whose idea was it to start out with? Like, has this been like a family thing for a while? Or was your mom like? I came up with the idea when I was in jail. So <laughs> nice. we'll get nice. to that later. You had some time to think. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. 365 days to think. Yeah, mm. um, it came, I came up with it in jail because in jail there was a lot of people that couldn't get jobs when they got out. So I was like, if I started food truck and just start hiring like inmates as soon as they get out, help them, you know, get social skills yeah. whenever, because they don't teach you that in there. They just keep you in a cage the whole day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that'd be beneficial. And we can, you know, help out also people who need help at the same time. Right. Nice. Yeah. I was, and, and your mom was just like, yeah, let's just hire a bunch of felons. Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> like, uh, not, the, not, cool the, not the really bad felons. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll yeah. sit down and talk to them and right. see how it goes. The, that, the double based? low threats. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Level ones and level one and a half only. Yeah. Right? Is that based on, um, um, yeah, he's got a lot of eye tattoos. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty well. Yeah. This is four, four drops. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can't have four drops. Yeah. Two drops, okay. Yeah, but one was four. manslaughter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Two drops, he could just be a... Big Lil Wayne fan. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, but Come once on. you get four, it's like, yeah. Uh. So it sounds like, so altogether, it's been, what, four years? You said two? Close, close to four years, yeah. Okay. We're reaching there, How's yeah. the progression been? Have you guys started, like, get, four years, it seems like you got the rhythm down. We got the rhythm down. We're still trying to, like, actually find our own little spot. So yeah. We call our own. But, yeah. Because right now we're working out of the fish tank mm -hmm. over on Euclid Avenue. Shout out, fish tank. Yeah. And... We th were there Tuesday through Thursday, and we just work out of the kitchen selling food. That's where girls, girls used to be, right? That's exactly right. Oh, that's okay. where girls, girls used to be. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That's a that's a risky business area over there. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, <laughs> oh no, yes, it is. I've seen college kids sleeping on the sidewalk over there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They ripped the the previous guys who were there. They were like barbecue twins. They ripped their sign off the side and just like tore it up. Oh, dude! It, for no reason. For no reason. They're just really? walking by. It. But I mean, it was like right by the sidewalk. So they're they're drunk. Ripped it off. Which we've all oh, been there. Wow. Do you remember like the early days of getting drunk? It's like, dude, let's just fuck yeah. shit up. Stop sign. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, dude. Okay, so one time, this one time, right after Mario got out of jail, right? It was before. Uh, was it before? It was before. No, this is the 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 the, the cone ones. We went oh to, yeah, that was. So after, we used to yeah. live right by Henry Clay. And um, one night we're just drunk or sober. I don't know what we, I think we were sober actually. We were pretty sober. But it was just like me, him, and our roommates at the time. Anyways, we just had this bright idea to go take our friend's van and just like drive through Henry Clay's like parking lot. And just like what we did is we got all of us in there, right? 
And then literally like a fucking spy operation. We had somebody at the driver just like kind of like put it in neutral and all the doors just opened Slide up. Open. And then we're all just like throwing Hop fucking up. phones <laughs> back into the car. And we're just like, let's go, 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 go. And then we just drove the back. back in. That, that's what I'm talking about. Like, why? Yeah, yeah. right. Like, why is our fascination with street codes? Yeah. 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 It was fucking hilarious, too, because eventually they got them back in the funniest way possible. Right. Oh, yeah. You remember this? Yeah. Anyways, it was just some random morning. Oh yeah, this oh, is no, a, this is a big story actually. Yeah. This is kind of like Let's, a big. There's some layers like an yeah. there, There's like a, there's a lot of there's a, yeah, a lot of backstory. <laughs> there's a lot of things. There's a lot of backstory. Too. Anyway, it was me, uh, this girl Bailey, and our friend Mo living together mm-hmm. in this condo, and Mo did something bad. Uh, essentially, I won't say it on this podcast, uh, but eventually he he ended up in India. Forty eight hours later. Um, but wow, there is a lot more yeah. depth. Yeah. There's there way more. Kind of crazy. Yeah, even leave this were throwing cones or getting yeah. deported. Yeah, no. <laughs> he deported himself. Yeah, he deported honestly. himself. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, but anyways, so they uh, he for his like 21st birthday does something very dumb. Anyways, um, I'm in school. Bailey's at home. They just made like a bunch of like weed hot chocolate at like 11 a.m. So her and her friend are just fucking baked in our living room, like so like 11 a.m. <laughs> and then they get a knock at the door, and it's like the the school police, and they come in. They're just like, "Hey, um, is this where Mo lives?" And she's like, "Uh, yeah." And they're like, "Uh, can we come in?" And then she, first of all, she should have said no. Yeah. yeah. But she was high as fuck, so she yeah, just like lets uh, them in. It's like, uh, it's just a little uh, white sure. girl. Yeah. Just yeah. yeah. Um, so they walk in. Our place is just like smells so dank, right? There's weed hot chocolate on the stove. And pretty much um, the cop is just like, yeah, so this is what happened last night. Uh, we're looking for Mo. Um, so do you know where he is? And she's like, no, genuinely, actually, I don't know where, where he is. And they were just like, oh, really? So what's that smell? And she's like, uh, Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. And she was just like, oh, okay. So um, it smells like weed in here. And she's like, oh, I, yeah, sure. He's like, is this where you keep it? And he points at this Folgers container, which is exactly where we keep our weed. Oh, my God. <laughs> right? yeah. It's just exactly where it is. And he's just like, okay, so what's this? She's like, nothing. He opens it. It's just a fucking and then, and then, quarter and then, pound and of and weed. she's like, well, what's this? She's like, oh, it's a bunch of weed. And then and then she was like, yeah, but but we're cooking with it. Like, we're just trying to experiment with cooking with it. And he's like, oh, okay, okay. And then he pulls out a scale. He's like, well, what's this? And then she's, oh, like, she's like, well, we got to measure out, <laughs> we gotta measure yeah, out how, much weed, how much weed is good in the stuff. She's like, oh, okay. And then he pulls out like two grand. He's like, what is this? <laughs> and she's like, uh. <laughs> Frankly, it was really oh, bad idea to put in fucking yeah, forger. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's what we buy the weed with. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, God. God. Yeah. Yeah. So he's pretty much just like, yeah, so we can either talk about Mo or we can talk about this. He was like, we can talk about Mo. Yeah. For <laughs> sure. can, right. I'll so, text him right. Right. <laughs> so they're talking, yeah, they're, for show. they're talking to her about Mo and all the shit that happened. And then as they're leaving, they stop and they look to their left and they're like, are those are cones. <laughs> no, <laughs> they're all stacked. We There's like, like seven of them. No. There's so many, and like we wrote all. We over. wrote our names <laughs> on it too. Because <laughs> we have parties on it. Yeah. We'd have parties. Just everyone just like fucking write all over these cones and shit. Oh. So they took our cones, but left all the weed. All the weed. <laughs> Hit the scale from us. Yeah. yeah. But oh god, I, just god. But dude. that's a story of how Henry Clay got their cones back. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Henry Clay. Yeah. <laughs> Blue Devils, dude. That was wild. Oh, Blue Devils, god. dude. Dad, I remember her calling me, and I was at school. She was like, "Paris, the cops just came." But I was like, "Oh fuck. my god, like, what?" Uh, but yeah, good is this, times. Is this uh, UK? Were yeah, you, yeah. Okay, where so, are you? Where was the house at? That you, you, was it over there by Henry Clay. It was right yeah. behind Henry Clay. Was it uh, Lakeshore Drive? Was Lake it? Drive. Oh, you remember okay. Gunner? Yeah. Williams, he, yeah. is that is that where um he used to always park his truck back there behind the tennis courts? I is think so, w- yeah. No, 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 no. When that, no, we were in these condos. It's like, I don't oh know. no, no, yeah, no. It was like towards the woods, going oh, okay. past, like going to that like the exotic, little, like the it reserve was way too over nice there. Of a place. It yeah. was way too nice of a place for like it was me, Mo, and our other friend Nick for a while. Mm-hmm. I mean, like twenty five hundred square foot. A it was a nice ass condo. Two living rooms, like crazy bedrooms, just aw- super awesome. Like, yeah. Yeah, Mo's you mom was behind rich. The tennis courts. No, no, not no. no. We, we, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Our, this place was fucking, and we would get lit tea in there, dude. When, Every when Thursday. Mario's first time getting out of jail and coming over. I'll let you tell a story because this was another weird time. At the time, we oh had this. God, yeah. We had this guy named Evo living with us, and Evo is an interesting cat. Um, so he picks me up <laughs> from home. I just got, it was like maybe like 48 hours when I got out. So mm-hmm. fresh out, 
Chris is like, I'm going to pick you up. You come over and hang out with us. I was like, all right, cool. So he picks me up in, I think it was like Moe's van. Yeah, yeah. He picks me up in Moe's van, and he starts telling me all these crazy things that he's experienced and done since I've been behind the bars. And I walk in, and Evo's just in the kitchen cooking. Evo's like 5'2", just like tatted, like self-tatted. Tatted, right? self-tatted fucking, is a point there. I'll yeah. never forget. He's wearing fucking green camo shirts. Uh, black uh, Air, Air Force Ones, a black <laughs> tank top, and he's just cooking a hamburger on a skillet. And he just looks at me. He's like, "Oh, so like, you just got out?" I was like, "Yeah." I was like, "You want a burger?" And I was like, "Yeah, I want a burger." Give me a burger. Give me a burger. It just gives me a burger, and it's just like I'll never forget that whole moment. It's just like yeah. Evo just right there. Just Evo like, was <laughs> Evo was pretty much homeless and just like lived with us and cleaned for us for just a place to live. Yeah, it sounds like a yeah. solid deal, honestly. Not bad, honestly. Not bad. Yeah. It was burgers? filthy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he was needed for Did sure. Did he know you, or was he just being awesome? And was he like, was being he, awesome? Yeah, yeah. he so barely knew like, us. Yeah, he barely knew you guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he barely knew. He barely us. knew you guys. We got to know Evo through his cooking. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. His hamburgers really spoke to Yeah, me. his cooking, his cleaning, and his hand rolled cigarettes. Well, oh. speaking of, <laughs> well, for, oh, for all you uh, for all you stuck in Sadek diehard fans, you can uh, officially find Hunter on Feet Finder after this episode. Yeah, Jesus so, Christ, yeah, dude. Dude. good <laughs> lord! No, I, the I, dogs are yeah, out. Boy. I feel oh, sad because I had my guest. I had my Jesus sandals on. <laughs> And Paris is always doing the barefoot thing, which I'm surprised he's not in this with me. I got fresh new kicks, bro. I got a phone. Yeah, those yeah, basically those gotta, are, gotta rock go. those. Yeah, gotta rock those. Yeah, I uh, I took those off the minute I brought it up. I was like, that's that's right there for Mario. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he's getting full footed out, dude. Right. Welcome to the show. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one of the bits we do is bite that toenail. <laughs> Word, I won't be taking part of that. <laughs> but um, so uh, talking about meals coming out, um. When did you and the family, When was it after jail or is it before that they already kind of had the idea or was you the one that brought that to the table? I brought, up the, I brought it up to the table while I was in jail. It was like six months in. I was like, let's just start a food truck when we get out. Yeah. 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 What's the process of looking for a food truck? Which, uh, so you have to find a food truck that can meet like health. Basically, it's a kitchen on wheels, basically. Yeah. So you have to have like flat top, a sanitation uh, station, place like cat. <laughs> yeah. You gotta have one of those for the yeah. food truck. Oh yeah, the mascot, the mascot. Yeah, I knew that wasn't Asada. <laughs> oh no, that. the Al Pastor. Yeah, you think it's for you? Yeah. Hey, but <laughs> you have to find one that can meet all like the health, uh, health department standards. Basically. Okay. Yeah. Now, what, uh, what was it? So, is both your mom and dad on this? Yeah, it's me and my dad and my mom. Yeah. Okay. My, Momo, my sister was on it. Shout out to Momo, but she's being a badass and she's like. A corrections officer now. Oh yeah, at, hey. for like the juvenile detention side, which I heard they just got a raise too. Like they're they got a raise, and now on top of them you getting can a beat raise, up kids now, right? You can actually put hands hey, on them. You have to because these kids are they're crazy, yeah. dude. They're level three. Like one of the kids that she that she takes care of have done has done some fucked up shit, like stuff that I could not imagine doing at the age of like damn. eleven or ten. I thought you were about to ten. Yeah, damn. What's the, what, does it go up to 18 there, or no, 18, you're in jail? 18. 18, 18? once you're 18, you're in jail. Yeah. yeah. What, are, what are the levels like? Do they prestige? Yeah. I think. Yeah. 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 Probably like a prestige, prestige. two 12-year-old. <laughs> dude, prestige three. Kid, yeah, get that kid in boxing or something, <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, right. Well, she told me, like, they're all murder. like, there's murderers in there. Whoa. That's crazy. Yeah. I, I know it was over an Xbox being turned off, that's for sure. Mm. Probably not. Probably, <laughs> Probably not. No, no, yeah. no, it definitely was. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 yeah, it definitely was. So who's the who's the cook of the fam? You guys all just whip it? Dad. Yeah? Dad's the cook. Mom and I are the prep people. Mm. Prepping it up? We prep it up in the mornings. How Are they are they pretty fluent English speakers? Yeah, for the most part. Yeah? yeah? Is there ever a time where like you're not down there with them, so can they like do it if you can't make it and like rock and roll My it? dad's more shy. My mom is more like like adventurous towards yeah. that. Like mm-hmm. Whenever I go to, like, to the bathroom at the Green Lantern and someone like is at the window, uh-huh. mom was like trying to like, take the order right there. My dad's just like in the corner just like, yeah. what do they want? <laughs> like, Fuck these yeah. rich white kids, dude. Yeah. <laughs> this is right by Transylvania, so yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Transy, though, I've, uh, speaking of Transy, I remember going to a party there one time. And I, I, like, posers, you know what I mean? I got called a poser there for the first time because I someone was, they're playing this music that no one fucking knows because they're from, it's like, <laughs> they're right. playing some offbeat, all fucking, yeah, music, yeah. whatever it was. And I was like, yeah. I was like, that's pretty cool. And I was like, I, I think I saw them at Bonnaroo. And like, if you, if you saw them, you know it. And way to bring up Bonnaroo, I was like, wow, this sucks. My bad. <laughs> my bad, Coachella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad, my, my bad, Coachella. My, my bad, I saw him at Coachella. All yeah, right. sorry, I haven't been a Burning Man. Um, 
But uh, we're in there, and this is the first time I ever did a flaming tequila shot. Mm. So uh, they set up the shots, which who does? Uh, always a great idea at a college party, flaming tequila shots. Yeah. Um, they gave me the shot, and it's on fire. I was like, this is dope. Take the shot. No one told me how to blow it out. So Ooh. it was straight fuego going down there. It's off the gas, dude. And you just sucking air through your nose. Dude. Well, it won't go out. <laughs> <laughs> you should try a ride, uh, ride the polar bear shot. What's a ride the polar bear shot? You get a shot of rumple mint. Uh-huh. You dip your thumb in it, light your thumb on fire, suck it out, and then take the shot. Bro, there was a time. Wow. <laughs> That's you and your fucking Matt, drink Dixon. No, There's where's a, Jared at? Yeah, yeah. Jared. Where's Jared? Jared, yeah. Jared would do that shit. Right. For sure. yeah, Jared would do yeah. it. Yeah, we've done suicide tequila shots with Jared for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. for sure. Is that that the lemon in the eye? Yeah, yeah. snort the, the salt. Oh, snort the salt. Dude. Yeah. yeah. There was oh. one time where uh, I don't know what you were doing, but you're like, oh, I'm gonna go. I think you were, I don't know, dropping something off somewhere when we were living at the apartment. You're like, uh, I'm gonna go drop this off. I'm gonna take two Irish car bombs and we'll be right back. And I'm back. You're not taking two Irish car bombs. What are you talking about? He's like, watch me. So he, he's Me like, or Jared? You did. So you were, <laughs> <laughs> okay, you, keep were going. There, you were there and keep back going. in like 30 minutes. And you're like, check it out. And you had this video. Your boy took it of you, of you just two uh, big right ass over Guinnesses. Here at cocktails. Yeah, yeah, cocktails. Herschel. Yeah. Right. Herschel's the one that told me that I can't take two Irish car bombs back to back. And if I did, he would pay for the shots and like gave me some extra cash. That's an easy top. dub. Yeah, took it. <laughs> took it. Bro, and he, he was back so fast too. Yeah, I was like, I watched cocktail. you drink them. Like it was just like one breath. You were just like clunk, clunk. I was oh. like, you talking oh. about OG Cox right there? Yeah, right there. Oh, uh, dude, we should yeah, all go yeah. there after this. Oh, dude, I'm hey, telling you, we let's do it. <laughs> dude, we. I the, okay. So let me let me say. So I've known Mario for a long time. Not as long as you've known him, Paris, but Mario for a hot minute. Do you remember me and you were always? I swear to God, the first ones in school, like yeah. sitting at the breakfast table for a always. Hot, oh, it would be me and you. And then Jordan Codwell was always come over. And I'd be like, fuck. <laughs> Jordan, I hope you're doing well. Fuck. <laughs> 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 or that was your face. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? That or John Paul would come over, and this is before he got jacked. And he'd always try and like take someone's breakfast and he'd laugh and then slap us in the chest. And then I would always fight him back. But then after he got John jacked Paul. Uh, after yeah. a summer, he came in, he's like, ha, 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 da, 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 like, hit me in the <laughs> chest. I was like, <gasps> Bro, John Paul was our guy, like, from Ned's Declassified, who's always spitting the basketball. Yeah. So John Paul was always spinning something on his it fingers. It was a brick. It was he, a mortar. Either, either, a either he was doing a brick or he was just doing pull-ups in the gym. That's yeah. All yeah. <laughs> and he was, uh, uh, one time I asked him what his diet was. He goes, dude, I just eat, like, he show, he opened his backpack. It was Jeff peanut butter and bananas. And I was like, that's <laughs> funny. <laughs> <laughs> but I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see it now. I see it now. Oh, you go through a jar of Jeff. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, that's why you're so, your sodium intake is ridiculous. <laughs> but um, I do remember that. And I always I, like, because you knew, you know, Ross in them as well. Ross Brown. Yeah. Yes, dude. So I met them through a Takes Creek party. And then every time you'll be with a different group that like, I'll hang out with, and then the groups, can, and I'll just, I'll turn around. It's gotten to this point to where I feel like we see each other so much. I just turn and be like, what's I'll up, Mark? S- I'll see you at horse and jockey <laughs> yeah. sometimes. Yeah. I was like, oh, there's Hunter right yeah, there. Yeah, what's shit. up, Hunter? And yeah. then, like, we, we don't even just the high five. It's like, we'll see uh, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, what's up, cheers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're both still here. Yeah, we're both still here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mario's a goddamn celebrity downtown a lot of times, dude. It's like, he, uh, there was a point where we'd go down there, and then Mar- just e- every single person knew Mario. Mm-hmm. Every single, I don't know if it's just, like, his unique... Like vibe, I don't know what it is. He but looks like, like Jesus. Yeah, he kind of. He looks like Mexican Jesus. Split the split the seat. That's most. Shit. Yeah. Everybody, lefty. everybody fucking knew you, dude. <laughs> there were. The funny thing was, it wasn't just. It would be. <laughs> It would be like the the parties after the bars, where like it's the real people party. <laughs> yeah, the so real partiers. I, I the reason Mario was. at so many of those places. <laughs> <laughs> but the funny thing is, I'd be like, "Oh, Mario's here again." I'm like, "Wait, I'm here too." <laughs> <laughs> I think the reason why it's like the the condo parties that we that you yeah, always do yeah. that, and then also once I turned 21, I was always downtown. Yeah, oh, that's so what everyone goes yeah. to. That dude. two keys. Yeah, back uh, two, R.I.P. Before R. I. P. it was the OG two keys. Yeah. To where they had the fi- the fish races. Yeah, where are they oh, now? Yeah. Peter. They uh, Pete, yeah, <laughs> Peter sent in. <laughs> well, dude, he I, said fuck now. I went there one time thing? baked, and I was like, "This is cruel." Because <laughs> it, it, have you heard about this Paris? No, Dylan? no. It's yeah. basically yeah. So you're, you're I know sh- they would have the fish bowls. No, the fish no, bowls. They the gave fish you, bowls. Yeah, they it's gave a live you a, fish it's a live gold fish. goldfish and a 
and you don't and need to like get a four ounce shot glass. Yeah. <laughs> and they're just yeah. like, bro, yeah, just hold on to this for an hour oh while you wait. <laughs> like, you straight up, when you're there, like you think, oh, fish racing, we're gonna, it's going to be like a downward tube, and they're going to swim down. Yeah. No, bro, you straight fucking fifty cent these fucking with a <laughs> with a <laughs> water with a gun. gun. Yeah. And you, and you make it move. Yes. What? Yeah. Again, yeah. PETA. Yeah. Yikes. PETA said no. But dude, let, let me tell you about that backwards betting. Like, we yeah. just oh, yeah. like, I got oh, yeah. 40 on three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Every yeah. single day, we were just throwing money at those yeah. little fish. Damn. That was a Tuesday crowd, dude. Wow, Tuesday, oh, too. Yeah. And then Thursday Holy was the shit. drunk crowd, all you can drink. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thursdays were insane. Thursdays were crazy. Because it, it was, you paid $10 for a cover fee. For and then $10, you for, get for 10, 10 drinks. drinks. Yeah. 10, 10 drinks. 10 yeah. drinks. Yeah. Because it was a punch card. But the bartender just got so no stale. One, no yeah. one ever punched that ticket more than the first drink. Yeah. yeah. Like, Never. I would get it punched the first drink, and then I'd go back up for my second. They're like, yeah, what do you need? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the bartenders were swamped. They're just like, all right, what do you want? Bam. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dude, turn. Let, let me at, at that point. That's when you know, like, as you get older and you start working in restaurants, like w- the importance of having stuff pre batched. Oh mm. god! Because yeah. literally, like, I asked them if they. Uh, this one lady told me she probably should have told me. I was like, it's crazy how many bourbon coats you go through. She's like, yeah, I just pre batched mine. I was like, I don't think you can pre batch <laughs> bourbon and coke. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right. I'm never getting the, that. the sugar. Yeah. I don't think yeah. it yeah. works that way. I sat there drinking <laughs> that one night. I was like, makes sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this yesterday. is fermented yeah. past. The point of just the bourbon, like dude, yeah, two key. Dude, the amount of story, like usually every night ended like, <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> was right. the last the last time I was at two keys, I remember I grabbed, I bought a like a new like a brand new cracked uh, tall boy PBR. Yeah, I'm out back drinking it, and they're like everyone needs to go inside. They're closing up. I'm pretty drunk at this point, and I'm walking back, and you know how like the back door has that little step. Yeah, I fucking missed that step. Mm. Fell forward, chugged the whole beer yes. forward. The girl's bathroom was right there. There's a girl walking out, and she sees the beer coming towards her. She ducks down and just barely misses getting hit by a beer. Damn. I eat shit, and I look up, and I see the bartender, or I see the bouncer and the girl going, are you okay? And I was like, I want to go home. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's when up. you know. Like, that's I got up, and I left. Like, uh, we uh my night's over. My night's over. Care. Exactly. It's <laughs> over. We went there like uh like January. It's called the Hill now. And we went over there, dude, yeah. and our buddy who works the door there, like he's like, guys, come over, I haven't seen you. And we had some friends visiting in town. He's like, I'll sneak you in. I was like, you don't have to sneak us in. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 right, like, right. But it's a long ass line because the hill just popped and it's on dude, as a business model, that right there on campus, mm-hmm. it's it it awesome. But uh he stuck us to the back, dude. I went in there. Talk about having a moment of age. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. I, I was just like, dude, you know what I mean? <laughs> I remember when I would see guys like me in there, I'd be like, don't you think you should be downtown? Yeah. You know what uh, I mean? Yeah. It's just that fucking, and Wildcat, too. Yeah. Wildcat's kind of that weird blend, though. Blend. You know what I mean? Well, I went there one night with Ross and one, one, yeah. one, one of our mutual friends, Carla. The Crimson Chin. <laughs> the Crimson <laughs> Chin. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Crimson dude. Chin. No, we went there and, um, Someone, we were playing BP, and Carla and I were playing against these uh, other two. Just, I mean, they were frat guys. They were literally from yeah. fraternity. And they literally like told me, like, you guys look a little old to be here. And so we ended up running the table, yes. beating them. And then Carla was like, these old guys just beat your ass. And we're like, I'm like, Carla, we got to leave. <laughs> yeah, we got to go. We got to we go. We got to go. We we they got friends. Yeah. They're calling <laughs> their brothers <laughs> right now. They're calling <laughs> their brothers <laughs> right now. The thing is, though, I sh- she's a cop now, mm-hmm. so... She could probably just arrest all of them. If she yeah, yeah. Come in there flexing. You, yeah. you beat me in beer pong. You're gonna go to jail. You're gonna go to jail. <laughs> oh, what? No, uh, it, yeah, no, it, no. It does, uh, you want to go to jail? Oh, elbows. How, how about, about wrist, motherfucker? How about wrist? <laughs> yeah. Behind your back, right now, right now, wrist. Yeah. Oh. We, the amount of times ever. So I remember going there when I was. So I used to do for a while. I was obsessed with the karaoke down there. Mm. There was a time where I karaoke. went in there. They're like, hey, it's karaoke guy. Look yeah. who it and I was is, like, everybody. Oh, hey. 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 Yeah. The man, the myth. There he is. Oh, why is your it. head wet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, He's man. He's a trash man. <laughs> oh. oh. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's take a quick break and reorganize these yeah. cameras, and yeah. then we'll be right back. All right, cool. Welcome back. Look Welcome back. Shit up, Dow. Every time. Wow. Every time. It's a <laughs> phantom button. The phantom button. Welcome Brady back to the podcast. Yes, everybody. Hey, Brady's back. Let's go. Hey, 
I was going to hit the applause button, but we're used to you. Yeah. <laughs> hit it. Hit it. Just hit You're acting really like that one chick. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we got Mario here. The roommate. If you guys are just tuning in, um, we have Mario. And uh, I don't. I didn't ever get the name of the food truck. So Taco, what's the, Taco Star Hill. So. Uh, yeah, we, so what's the background on that? What's Drew Eel? She, that's it's a family name. Family name. Oh, yeah. wait, what do you mean, like, located. your family name? Yeah, dad's family name. Really? Yeah. He's not Martinez? It's, it's like his other last name. Really? Like Mexicans have, like, oh. Two last name. Yeah. oh, so Martinez is, like, his immigrant name. Yeah. Yeah. It's what? Like, I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. We oh, got, yeah, we got different names. Wait, you your parents know? cross okay, the border, so right? It is. Yeah. It, so that is that is Allegedly. The thing. The, where there's like, Allegedly, yeah. They didn't actually yeah, cross the border. Don't, but don't like, yeah. Yeah. Hard, bro. <laughs> Dude, we already got Mo deported, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Shit. Ice, we got him. Yeah. Yeah, he's here. He's here. Come on. Come on. It's true heel. True heel. I knew it. Feito. Feito. No mamas. All right. We all know Spanish. Um, So so I was going to say, so... Mario is joining us. He's got his food truck down there by uh, the fish bowl. And that's fish on tank. Fish Tank. And it's on uh, South Lime or Euclid Avenue. Five, 504 East Euclid Avenue. Okay. Say you that one more time. Okay. So. Wrong. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, I always call it. I, I, I thought it for the longest time was Fish Tank. And then I kept telling people about Fish Tank. And they're like, are you talking about the fish bowl, dude? Well, the yeah. fish bowl is a two keys. Yeah. 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 That's that's yeah. where it comes from. Peter. But but the the uh, the um the truck You're is at uh, Green I've Lantern. I've been cut off, yeah, yeah. right? I've been cut off. I've right? been here for five seconds, Mario, and yeah. you're fucking hammered. <laughs> I'm beyond. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, before the pod, he was like, "You got another beer?" As he has a beer in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> I just need a backup. No more Dellos here, boy. <laughs> Wow! God damn. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, that was aggressive. Wow, Brady! I love. I can only drink Mexican beers. The funny thing, if I drink domestic, I get sick as fuck. I need a washcloth on my mm, forehead. I can true. drink Mexican yeah. beer all fucking. Dude, day, I bro. did that one night. Brady was. Uh, he passed out on the couch. I went straight mom mode. He had a fever. After he just yacked acid out of his fucking stomach, dude, oh, it, it burned the pavement. Next, I, I drank a Bud Light that night. Is what happened. Wow. No, was that no? That wasn't Dylan's night because you also were drinking Pepto that oh. night. Yeah, oh, we stopped to get yeah. Pepto that night. Because I drank Miller Lights at Top Golf. Yep. Yeah. So uh, he he yaks and he's on the couch. He's out of it. The the funny thing is he was talking gibberish mm. when I got him out Sounds of the car. Right. He was like You're always he, talking gibberish. <laughs> yeah. gon, gon, gon. <laughs> um, but he was <clears throat> he was just going just rambling, and then he yaks and he goes. Oh my God, I'm back. <laughs> like, he's he's that like puke. St- that puke stained my concrete for like a solid month. <laughs> that was that was a crumbs puke for yeah, sure. Crumbs. Well, that was, that was, that was my birthday. Acid. That's yeah. what it was. So it was like a rib bomb baked potato I puked out. Oh my oh God. Yeah. Lord. Ooh. That and shows a, that Malone's cooking. Salad. Damn. Yeah. So it burnt and I got up there and his whole, his face was more red than usual. And I like, I felt his head and he was burning up and I was like, so like I, I ran over to got a wet washcloth. Got a wet washcloth. I was holding it on there and I was like rubbing his head. So if Eric would have walked in, dude, it probably thought I was doing some like weird witchery, <laughs> like straight like wax on. Yes, dude. Wax on. If there was a fly, I would have caught it with chopsticks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but, I'm just I'm just waxing his head, <laughs> right. dude. And I was like, <laughs> I, all I drank was beer, man. He woke up. Damn. He woke up the next morning. He goes, "Did you?" Rub my head with a washcloth. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank said, you. <laughs> I said, yeah. And this was after he caught me jacking off. So we were, oh, I was trying oh, to get him to kiss me. Uh, yeah, I was trying to get him to kiss me. What's uh, funny is that uh, I called him to work the next day. And then the very next day I went to work. And this chick that was there was like, oh, uh, on your birthday, did you get pretty drunk there night? And I was like, I was blackout hammered. She said, really? You didn't like, you, you couldn't tell. You seemed fine. I was like, I, I got to quit drinking. So yeah, much. That, that's called a scarred liver. <laughs> <laughs> we are all uh, very accustomed to that. I don't have a drinking problem. I never run out. Yeah. One one day I, I underestimated Brady's drinking ability. We went to a pool party uh, over there behind fucking. <laughs> you, you, do you remember the uh, apartments over there by the Shell on uh, Richmond Road? That's uh, right over the, the lake. Shell. You know what I'm oh, talking about? Oh, by Henry close, Clay. Close to the water company. Oh. Oh yeah, 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 I know exactly. Yeah. What you're oh, okay. yeah, 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 right behind the ship. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yes, yeah. So it's just it's just right there, and uh, the pool is not that big. You may be thinking of a different one. Yeah, you. Know, I think it, it's literally about the size of this room yeah. is the pool. Okay, mm. we're in there and we're getting wild. And me and Brady show up, and uh, I we got some Jack D. 
And we're drinking the Jack Daniels, and I, I pull out the Coca-Cola, mm. and I hand Brady his Jack Daniels, and I'm like, oh, here's your Coca-Cola. Brady's like, what's that for? Mm-hmm. I was like, for you the to Jack. drink. Yeah, for the, you know, I, I've never been asked this stupid question. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Brady's just drinking it out of a bottle, dude. And Brady. Dude. I, I killed that bottle, too. And this pool, there's only five of us there, and we're getting wild for no reason. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it is, it's basically the size of a hot tub. Brady's got Jack Daniels. <laughs> we have inflatables that won't even fit in the pool. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was a Jack Daniels party for sure. Nice. And I didn't even get in the pool. I literally just sat in the chair in the, the whole time. I only knew Hunter there. I didn't know anybody else. And I'm just... This is yeah. Going back into Jackie D, man. For the pool, it's in... We lived behind a... Uh, Oh yeah, yeah. We we got yeah. What was that? We just decided like we had an we lived in an apartment together for a while, and one night we were just like, let's just go into the fucking apartment pool I think it was at someone's midnight. Birthday. Yeah, yeah. We just like we just went in there at midnight, and then we're in caught. we're in the pool, yeah. we're in the pool, and then everyone's having fun, and then Paris like, did you hear that? And I was like, no. I was like, it sounds like someone screamed, hey. <laughs> I didn't hear anything, so we just ignore it. And it's like there it is again. I was like. Paris, no one screamed, hey, you're, you're hearing things. And like 10 minutes later, some random guy with a flashlight just like shined his light. It's like, hey, you guys. He's like, I fucking told you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. You should listen to the Asian guy. <laughs> we <laughs> get up. It was like, you all live here? It's like, yeah. It's like, why did you get out of the pool? And we get out of the pool. We go back to the apartment, and they take down all our information. And then uh, we just got a slap on the wrist. It wasn't anything. Did we, yeah. get, did we get banned from the pool? No. Okay. Was it past no. curfew or something? Yeah. Oh, it was way past curfew. Oh. We live there, though. It's the thing. It's like, this pool is available to us, is it not? <laughs> yeah. Right? Like, I could use the gym if I wanted. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Anyways. Brady, did you ever come to the condo parties? Were you ever at one? No? Oh. Man. We got I, was, I, was, I was raising a kid during that time. That's right. That's you were. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was a stepdad. We would get rowdy. We used to make like Facebook events for our parties. Dude, Bad idea. Oh, my. Dumbest. Bad no, idea. No, the worst one was someone posted. You know how like on Snapchat you can like post. They had like a feature where like you can post to your story and then you can post to like the campus that you're most yeah. near to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone posted. There's someone at the party. Some random person at the party posted uh, us like in the living room partying to the UK UK's campus. And then someone re- uh, like asked, like, what's the address? And they gave them the address. Yeah. Oh, dude. and so they just sent they it just out. They just sent it out. We, <laughs> we had some party. There was one Halloween party we had, dude. We had we probably had 120 people in our yeah. condo. Yeah. Just packed, dude. And I remember trying to go to my own bathroom. And oh, people were in there doing story, drugs, yeah. right? They were, like, doing coke in the bathroom. And I open it, and they're like, oh, we're busy. I'm like, the fuck you're busy, <laughs> right? Yeah, this, this is my, my goddamn bathroom. bathroom. Yeah, I was like, everyone's doing drugs like, everywhere. Quit being weird. Yeah. Who like, are you? Yeah. 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 Wait, yeah. you're not yeah. invited to this. I, didn't, yeah. what, who, I don't even fucking right? know you. But, that same party, though, someone else, some, someone brought, like, uh, poi. And then they lit it on fire. It was like on like on fire poi. And they're just spinning fire yeah. out back. What? Yeah. And I'm fuck fucking I'm fucking drunk. And I was like, let me try that. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. grab it. I start spinning. And I was like, I got the hang of this. And someone called my name. And I, I did something wrong. And it lit my armpit on fire. <laughs> where I had the odor yeah. on. Just right. lit my whole armpit on yeah. fire. <laughs> Dude, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm thinking when you guys, it wasn't. The, the person juggling fire that you guys were like, this should probably need to calm down. <laughs> no, dude, we had a crazy, because we had a bunch of hippie friends too, right? So all of our hippie friends, drug friends, really, um, they were the ones doing all the poi, all this crazy shit. Of course. And, and we had all these college friends too. Like I had my music people friends. Nick had like <laughs> random frat people and sorority chicks come. So we had just like this smorgasbord of yeah. just like all these, all like, these different crazy videos. people doing poi. Yeah, huh. dude, like everyone's in the back throwing fire around and the shit. The funniest, the funniest time or thing that happened over there was it's like i'm a week out of jail i like a month out of jail i'm over there partying i'm not supposed to i'm on probation i can't drink i can't smoke or anything i'm drinking yeah i'm around smoke i wasn't smoking but we're throwing this party and someone opened there's like a little section in the, uh, near the kitchen it was like the bp room someone opened the windows and the music started going out and started annoying the neighbors in front of us so they come, they come knocking on the door. Paris, saying, I think either you were being yeah, answered, yeah, and they're it. like, "Hey, keep it down. We don't want to call the cops." All I heard was cops, oh. and I dipped out back. <laughs> no, got someone else l- screamed cops. What I yeah. heard, cops. I dipped out the back and got him a little Honda and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> left. Darted, yeah, that's darted. Right. Right. Everyone's like, everyone's like, "Okay, it's all good. It's all good." And they're like, "Where's Mario?" Paris calls me, 
And I literally made it from that condo, and I was like passing Waffle House on Richmond Road, going fucking oh, eighty miles an God. hour to where are you? Was like, gone. I heard cops were coming. I left. <laughs> and they're like, no, cops are gonna come if we don't calm down. Oh, I was like, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Man, you we came back. Bro. The cops were showing. No, no, no. The cops were showing yeah. up. So I've had so many times when people have just mentioned that, and a whole party will just evacuate. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now that we're older, it's like we're all like we're all like, what are they gonna do? You right, know what I mean? Right, like yeah. this is our house. Oh, yeah. dude, I, I was at a party on campus once. It was, was like there. a music friends party. And like, no, Wait. this is a different one. Uh, but we should talk about that. Yeah, we should talk about that. Uh, okay. There's this music, just music friends. And anyways, like a bunch of new music nerds partying in a thing, whatever. I'm out on the back patio. And then like some dude just walks in acting like a cop. I'm, I'm guaranteed this wasn't a cop. I think this is some frat dude just like doing, just yeah. like trying to fuck around with some people. But he just went in there with like a flashlight and said, what are y'all doing in here? And we're just like partying. What does it look like? And was then he like, suited up or was he in? Kind of. Kind of, like he had like a black shirt and black pants on. I want to drop kick them. So it was hard. To, it was hard to tell. <laughs> but then he goes in there and like clears everyone out. And I'm just like, oh my god, dude, that's hilarious. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he just like acted like a cop and cleared out a whole party, dude. I was walking out of it and I was like. That wasn't a cop. Hold yeah. on. Wait a second. But no, there was another hood party that Mario and I went to. This shit was, I mean, like, we went to Tate's Creek Middle School. I ran my first hood party. Bro. <laughs> that when, like, we knew a lot of these people because we went to school with them. It was and, on like, campus. It was on campus, was yeah. On campus, so, yeah. like, it was fucking hood lit in there. Like, it was going crazy. So, we're there, and everyone's, <laughs> everyone's just going wild. And I step outside to smoke a cigarette, and I see this cop car pass, pass the house and, like, park right next to us. Then another one, then a paddy wagon. And so I was like, shit, the cops are here. Throw my cigarette, run to the kitchen and scream, 12's here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But before that, the reason why the cops came. Do you remember this? I don't remember why. You don't remember why. why Okay, so we're just like partying in this place. And then all of a sudden, our friend Bubba, all I see, he comes, oh my in, God, he do comes remember that? into the room. <laughs> he comes into the room. He goes, who the fuck? Just like slash my tires and like comes in there with a gun, fully loaded, cocks it back. What? And we're just like, yo, Bubba, chill, chill the fuck up. out, Bubba. 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 Put the gun it's down, cool, Bubba. Cool. Come on. So that goes off for a while. And then the cops come. And then finally, I'm like smoking in a room with some random people. And I'm screaming fucking 12s here. And everyone's just like looking at me like, <laughs> I meant no. Mario comes in and says 12. I'm like, oh, shit. And and everyone's just like, what's everyone's 12? Like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, 5 0. They're like, and then finally I was like, the cops are here. And they're like, oh shit. And they all run. And our buddy Grant was there with us. Yeah, yeah. Grant grabs me. It's like, chill, let's go this way. We go out the back, and I was like, we got to get Paris because you went the other way. Yeah, yeah. So we're like, I was like, we'll find him. So he goes, we'll find him. And so we're walking through like the back. We tried to hop this fence, but it was too high. And we're like, Shit, let's try to go the other way. It's <laughs> a trap like mice, dude. Yeah. <laughs> How do we get out of here? So there's like a little fence. It's the only Mexican can't drop a fence. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking 10 feet, right? I'm just saying. Anyway, it's like a... <laughs> so there's, like a, there's a fence right beside us that we can't hop. And so let's hop that fence. So we're going over there and this cop shines his flashlight on us. like, hey, you two stop. And my dumbass is like... <laughs> okay, <laughs> you got me. PTSD. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> Gray was like dumbass. Grabs my collar and pulls me. We hop the fence, and the cop tries to like chase us. We like, couldn't like couldn't catch up to us. We go around the corner. Like we gotta get Paris. Paris is yeah. Paris is in jail now. <laughs> like, we gotta bail him out. And I was like, I gotta call his mom. And then he's like, Dude, I got money. We'll bail him out. You didn't get it. You didn't get in trouble. They just, no, no. They just took now, I remember I was something. just walking out because I was like, I didn't do anything. So yeah. fuck it. But I had a bag of weed in my in my pocket. So I like just kind of dish it behind a tree. And this cop was like, hey. And it's like pulls me over. I'm like, what? He's like, what are you doing? I was like, what does it look like? Yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, what do you think I'm doing? He's like, give me your ID. I'm like, fine. Okay. And he makes me follow him. And I'm just like, okay. Get my fucking ID back. And then like this other guy. I don't know if you all know this guy named Philip. I won't say his last name. Um, but kind of a strange dude. Like, kind of, like, not all the way you know, socially like, there. Yeah. Like, like kind of, like, you know, not very picks up on the social cues. You know what I'm saying? Lights are on, but no one's home kind yeah, of Yeah, so he, like, he like uh, is getting in trouble with me. And then the cop <laughs> finally finds our, gives us our IDs back. He's like, all right, I'm going to go. And he goes to his car. He's like, you're going to drive home, buddy? And he's like, uh, no, no, no. I was like, come on, Phil, let's, let's just go. I was like, come yeah. on. I was like, yeah. hey, just let's get out of the oh. situation. <laughs> but, yeah, we, we got it home safe that night. Oh, yeah, home, yeah, yeah. we're good. So uh, I'll tell you this. So I don't know if you ever came to this. Paris, May, Mario, maybe Brady. I don't know if you went to Probably. this. Do you remember when we lived? Me, Aaron, 
Aaron, Aaron Warder, we oh, lived that house on, on that corner house on Euclid. Yeah, and we, that Halloween party? Dude, that shit was fucking wild. And we threw that there. So we had put, let me on tell you. On Euclid Avenue? Yeah. it was Right it, on Hangerman? Oh, no, 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 not Hangerman. No. Actually. Kentucky uh, Avenue? No, it was on a corner Fontaine. of East High Fontaine. and Fontaine. Okay. No. It, oh. It's the one, it's the, it's the house that, if you're going by, Maca- it's a uh, diagonal from McAllister's. Oh, okay. Yeah, It was yeah. that house. Oh, so everyone, yeah. you could always find it. Yeah. It always had a big, when everyone, people were looking for it, it said no H1. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah. Right. No so, Section 8. Yeah, yeah, so it was, uh, dude, it, we were throwing some bangers there. Campus parties are so crazy, dude. Uh, dude, well, insane. I'm so glad I got to, like, experience that. Because yeah. if you try to do that now, it's a little weird. But, like... In that degeneracy time where oh, you're yeah. just Dude, like, yeah. get anybody over here, let's just drink. The get house a is barren. With, yeah. It's just wood floors, barren walls. The landlords know what's yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. Well, so here's what we did. So we went, we took all of our old Bud Light boxes and taped them on the walls and it mm. soundproofed it. Oh, nice. So we did all that and it was, yeah. yeah. But it was getting so loud in there. I walked across the street and I saw a cop over there. I was hammered. I walked across the street and I was like, hey, how does it work if like loud noise stuff and. I asked him about it because everyone was like worried about it. I come back to the house and the party's like fucking getting it. Yeah. I come back, I get on a chair because everyone was freaking out. I was like, guys, I get up there and I was saying, I was like, I just talked to the cops and someone said, cops. And then it just <laughs> fucking cleared. I was, I was like, no. And then I remember uh, Lewis fucking Salazar. Did, yeah, dude. He then takes the door. So all these people are trying to get oh out. We're not God. trying to stop the party. He stands in front of the door, holding the door shut as everyone's trying to. <laughs> he's like, "No one's fucking leaving!" And then, <laughs> what the you're fuck? partying with us. <laughs> everyone's like freaking out, dude. Everyone's like, "What?" Like, and I was like, "Everything's fine." Oh, yeah. Drop kicked them, dude. You got to stop with the drop kicks. <laughs> you got to stop. There was a uh, when we moved when we moved with Jared one time. Um, they were fighting over the room, like to get a certain room. I still have one more. I right. haven't forgot it. I still got one <laughs> yeah. more. So like they were fighting over a room, and then Jared was like, "Look, Mario, if you let me have this room, you can drop kick me twice." Right? <laughs> yeah, it, was, it, was three, it was three times. The three times. It was three, yeah. and I used all. I used two of them. I still got one. Yeah. Jared, I haven't forgot. I'm gonna drop. We like threw a house right. party, and then just like had him drop kick him in the back. He works him alone. Does he works him alone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna go in there one day when he has food over his shoulder, just <laughs> fucking drop kick him in front of everybody. Dude, so we were doing this thing at Bonnaroo one year. Speaking of drop kick. Where we would we found it so funny we would yell McGregor we would just yell McGregor because the thing was in UFC it was always like and then McGregor comes so we would just yell McGregor and then drop kick each other at fucking Bonnaroo <laughs> oh, Jesus like in a full crowd of people and I was like guys we've got to stop and then this that whole dangerous co- no I'm just saying. <laughs> we got to talk to some girls <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Really <laughs> I'm telling you irresponsible and dangerous Hunter. No, imagine who the fuck drops kick people man. Ever since Mario, you got a mic in front of you, <laughs> dude, <laughs> but drop kick you. We, dude, dude you have got me correct. <laughs> <laughs> that is the fifth time in five seconds I've heard you say it. But yeah, drop kicking was definitely occurring there. I'll make a deal with you about drop kicking. What you got? Well, I'll let you drop kick me four times if you let me get one really hard drop kick on you. Wow, that's, that's a hell of a deal. Whoa. Like a really hard one. Oh. I no. just get one. I'm you good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. We'll so make what? it a TikTok. We'll make it a TikTok. We'll make it a TikTok. We got a mattress. Yeah. yeah. Hey, that's right. Bro, I'll, yeah, we do. I'll sell it, man. I'm a fake professional wrestler. All right. What wrestler. if, okay, he gets a drop kick you, but you get to drop kick Jackie Daytona. Mm. It's even better. That's oh. even, no, I can't. That, that, You'll never be able to watch that foot again, bro. Yeah. 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 Never. No. <laughs> you can't do that. And maybe get that, a belt. Who knows? <laughs> even better, I'll let you be Jackie Daytona for an episode. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, no one can be Jackie Daytona. <laughs> How funny would that be? A Mexican Jackie see, Daytona. You don't have to wear a wig. You've already got the hair. <laughs> I'll get a mullet at that point. Fuck it. Dude, I'm <laughs> telling you, if we did a scene with Brady where he goes to bed and he just wakes up as a fucking Latino. K Pos on the My my name is a Hacky Daytona. Hacky Daytona. My name is Jacket Daytona. No, we did it already. We, you did a fucking like Australian. No, accent. I didn't. I said I, we we blanked out the age. You're like Italian or something. <laughs> Italian, <laughs> Italianics, bro. I object. Anyway, <laughs> Lewis didn't let anyone get out. Yeah, so he's. Thank you for bringing us back. We're, we have a whole. Ta- <laughs> Thanks, Mario. <laughs> we have a ta- <laughs> Where, where yeah. is it? We have the. Uh, we only talk about tangent. every episode. Tangent. Yeah. Tangent. <laughs> tangent. So Fuck. essentially, he didn't. Uh, he didn't. Uh, he wasn't letting anybody out, and I remember. Everyone like started finding windows to crawl through. Like we were like murdering people in this house, 
And it was so funny because that's when <laughs> I walked outside. Like afterwards, I went to the back door and I walked outside and the, the same cop comes over to me and she's like, you have a bunch of people crawling out of your windows. She was su- super cool. I was like, yeah, it's a game we're, we're playing. Yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, it's a game. Like the, the, the trick is to not go back in. So, uh, but we did all that. I remember uh, everyone, so our roommates there, they were like four years older than us, than me and Aaron. It was his sister and her friend and her, his friend, her friend was crazy. Um, she comes downstairs because we had all of our alcohol in the freezer and she comes downstairs just in her bra and panties, comes down there, grabs me by the shirt. She's like, who's drinking my fucking Smirnoff? <laughs> Good Lord. And starts shaking me in front of people and I'm in a Robin outfit and then this dude, Batman, don't even know the guy who was Batman, comes over. He's like, she's giving you a problem. I was like, this is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like, this is amazing. Well, I thought you were Superman. That's no, I was Robin. Who was Superman? Yeah. I fell asleep at your party that night. And had to Wait, night. you went as Robin without a Batman? No, so my buddy was supposed to be a Batman, but he got there late. So I ended up hanging out with this guy who, he was wearing a mask. I was so hammered that I thought it was Jared the whole time. Oh. So I was talking to him, and he takes off his mask. And let me tell you, when you're, you're talking to a guy like he's your best friend for yeah, four yeah. hours, I was like, I was like, you are Batman. I was like, oh, shit. I was like are you Bruce Wayne? Yeah. <laughs> like, but like we we did all that and I and I just remember being down there and like we do these parties and now when I go to parties I'm like this floor is gonna get ruined yeah right <laughs> and it's like, like, did you just spill the uh, come on it's gonna be expensive put, to get that stain <laughs> out put it in the trash like right. no one is don't this don't whole stay time. on the couch yeah. what are you doing you, you remember Joe T yeah okay so he goes upstairs with his lady oh, and and she I, I walk I walk in there and fucking I open the door. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, this bathroom we're all using. And I'm like, dude, stop fucking in there. And he goes, I was. I was just eating her out. And I was just, <laughs> I was like, I was sitting in there. Perfect and, response. And it's, yeah. and it's on the sink. And I remember I come back in there to wash my hands, and the water shoots in my face because the sink had broken off the fucking thing. Jesus. Oh, no. Dude, I, that that to me was when I was like, I remember looking at it then, and you know when you're fucked up and you're like, I'm gonna deal with this later. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, right. like, I'm just gonna wash my hands. Yeah. Right. With, with the thing coming, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like <laughs> I was definitely like trying to like hold it for <laughs> we a little less this, pressure. We went to this party once, the, the the gun situation. Yeah, the one over behind uh, came or Gaddy Town. Wait, what? You were there. It was me, you, and Ross. Which gun situation? <laughs> so we went to a party and yeah. we were inside partying and then we're like, oh, we we stepped inside to get Ross, and then we're like, oh, we forgot we forgot someone inside and we went in there. But as we were when we were outside, we saw like this car pull in and there was a bunch of people and then that gun. Oh, was this when I puked in the van on the way back? Yep. Oh, this was way back in yeah. the day. Yeah, so there's, there's, I was fucked up that day. I yeah. don't remember anything. He from was that oh, dude. he was fucked up. So there's this car pulled up beside us and it's like four people in there and they all had guns and then they all walked in. We walk in and I was like, we had to get so and so because we just saw him walk into the party with all these guns. It was like, we got to get him out of there. Walk in there and they were like, hey, we got to go. I was like, I didn't want to say guns out loud. I was like, yeah. hey, yeah. someone's like, these guys have guns. And then they're like, what? It's like, these guys have guns. It's like, who has guns? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and they God. said guns and then oh, everyone dipped out. We ran. Fuck. Two days later, we found out that those people, they brought guns. Were rappers and they shot a music video yeah, in that apartment yeah. and those oh. guns were props. <laughs> those guns were props. So you you missed, so out. Un- you I missed, missed out. I missed out. We missed out. We missed out. We got a fucking world star oh, video. You missed right. out Damn on it. an opportunity God. of a lifetime. Like, <laughs> like I, I told parents, they were like, shit, we fucked up. <laughs> I probably puked in the video if we stayed there. Yeah, that would have been bad. That would have been really yeah, bad. Been pretty good shot, yeah. though. That would have been funny, yeah, oh. at least. Yeah, that'd, that'd be. That'd make for great content, right. for sure. <laughs> but that night, yeah, you, you were fucked Dude, up. Dude, yeah, I was puking in the bathroom all night that night. And then night. I got fucked up that night, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, this is the this is the side of Paris that I still haven't seen, and I'm just like, I'm waiting for the day that... It's, it's, I'm bro, waiting for it is the day a blessing, that, but I'm waiting also... for the day that he comes out with us after a pod and just ends up tore down, and then I feel better about myself, you know, like... <laughs> that night, that night uh, that happened, <laughs> Ross was, uh, was talking to uh, Kristen, his ex, for the first time. No. Was that the wait, first time? Wait, wait, wait. They're, they're just talking. Are yeah. we talking about, was this the party at the Twins' house? I don't know if it was the Twins' house. This was, this was behind Gaddy Town. Oh, no. Where... This was over there. No kidding. They're, I remember they were that just, saga. They were, they were just talking, I was, right? It was newly fresh. Yeah, and I, and I fucking killed a fifth of Jaeger, right? 
You're and, gross. <laughs> and I'm You're playing, disgusting. Ross helps me onto a cat on, onto the couch and rolls me on my side, and I'm facing a wall. Him and Kristen were trying to get it in, and they couldn't because I was just like. <laughs> <laughs> The whole no, dude, night. That's bullshit. There's nothing more sexual than hear the guy yak yeah. as you're trying to bone. The whole night. They woke me up like, dude, so like, yo, you good? And there's like puke all over the bucket. They're both naked. <laughs> hey, we're going to put you in on this one. <laughs> hey, you good? You good? Yeah. We got up and went to Waffle House. And I was like, how was your night? It's like, oh, you know, we just couldn't sleep because you were fucking yakking all night. <laughs> That was the first time I'd hung out with them, and I was in the bathroom all night. And Kristen comes to use the bathroom. Yeah, that was. <laughs> and I was like, "What's up?" I was like, "We're all like Paris, 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 but Kristen's gonna use the bathroom." And they're yeah. like, "I'm not getting up." And I was like, "That's fine. We're gonna turn off the light." Right. So we turned like, off the light, and then I was in there with Kristen and you, and then she's just doing her thing. The the first time I I so I I knew Ross for a hot minute. <laughs> the next morning, I told Ross that he was too skinny and need to eat some protein. And then like a year later, he, he just fucking. Just, I, was like, <laughs> fuck up. You, I was the one. Ross, you're the cause. Yeah, you met, you're you're the reason. I was the why catalyst. Ross is I was full. like, you skinny fuck. You met Ross before he was Jack. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah okay. We've known Ross since fucking Tate's. Yeah, yeah, we were in middle school. Together. Oh, that's right. right. Okay, because I met him at the um because Gunner took me to the Tate's Creek. Gunner. Sen- sen- oh, dude, that's a whole another story right no. there. R.I.P. No, he's still alive, but <laughs> in some aspects. <laughs> but um, he he took us to the uh, a party, the Tate's Creek party out in the field. Did you go to that field party? Maybe. Yeah, dude. So we went out there. Probably. Probably. Yeah, I, don't know. I remember we were. Well, the point I was going to say was this: was that I invited my friends out to one of his parties, and it was like the wrestler gang. So we all go out there, and we all show up with. Uh, oh God, we. Showed up with four locos. <laughs> we are we are down here. Yeah, fucking a party. The loco, dude. I'm starting to get yeah. fucking. Loco. Still drink those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all stopped. Man, yeah, what the fire, fuck? Dude. I saw a guy walk to the gas station with a bootlegger today. I was like, my man's still trying drink to get those too. <laughs> <laughs> so two for five. Let's get it. So he fucking. Uh, well, I go over there and uh, we bet Mike that he couldn't chug two locos. Oh, and it was oh, yeah, it was, and I was like, "Hey, listen, y'all are shitty friends." <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, I'm trying to kill. Him. Yeah, trying to kill. No, him. I'm trying to help him make money. He took the bet. You know what I mean? Like, how much was, money? It was twenty bucks. Oh, <laughs> twenty bucks. It's right. Oh, it's yeah. a four loco. Double what he spent. On yeah. Yeah. Stomach it's, pump it's, I know, right? It's yeah. Flavor. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Flavor. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So he does that, and I'm sitting there, and we're just like, "Wait, hold on. What flavor? Of four locos? The the green one. The green uh. apple." Oh, oh you're, that's oh. the worst one. They no, were the gold's it. the worst one. The gold you, is definitely you the worst. You drink the gold, you get out. You're asking for a felony. Fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You're asking for a felony. You drink this cold water, right? <laughs> if I walk out with a fucking ice house, dude, they're like, this dude doing crap. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> the gold tastes. I, sw- I swear to God, the gold, the gold for a loco tastes like Red Bull and Burnett's fucking vodka. Oh, like, yeah. It, it's let's so go. fucking let's bad. Go, let's it's go. So the reason, fucking bad. The reason bro. you don't oh, see me partying is sugar free Red Bull too. It's oh, not. God, it's not Burnett. even the good Red Bull. It's the sugar free Red Bull and Burnett's <laughs> the fucking best vodka. Kind. Like. The reason why you don't see me partying as much is because of Burnett's vodka and oh. KG. <laughs> oh, like KG. The, oh, KG. The oh, early days. Oh. The that's, early days of partying, bro. That's ruined so many friendships, dude. KG. I couldn't, I couldn't drink bourbon until, like, pretty much this podcast <laughs> because of KG. It, it's ruined a lot of friendship, but it, it, it's bonded hours. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we would just fucking crush Funny. KG and Burnett's if, as, like, 15-year-olds. And he would hold my hair. <laughs> yeah, right. as, right. as I'm throwing it up and let it fall yeah. in. <laughs> No, dude, like you were thrown up in a, in a toilet once, and then you're just fucking in it. You're in the toilet, and you try to get out. You're just like, fuck. <laughs> you just like hit your head on it. He's like, this, I is, die this is Mexican Jesus. I'll be damned if I'm not with the 12 disciples. <laughs> I'm getting my name in this storybook. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. Yeah, that Good is time. why you don't see me drinking as much. <laughs> no, but that that God. day's coming. That day's coming. We have will, a, yeah, we yeah. have a stuck in static trip one of these days. <laughs> we're, we're, out of we're out of town. We're out of town and just just the boys. We're, yeah. we're, if we ever go to Japan, bro, I'll get Lydia in Japan. Oh, that's <laughs> it. We're going to it's Japan. Gonna go to Japan. It's going to happen. Stuck in static takes Japan's going to be crazy. Yeah, it's going to be yeah. wild. Can the yeah. one Mexican join? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Are you allowed to travel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
bro. <laughs> Mario, you know I heard it. Mario, is. you're fine. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, it's not a racial joke. He went to jail, guys. Come <laughs> I'm on. a felony. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on. Brady. A, it's I not am. racist. It's racist. You thought it was racist. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Brady. <laughs> Speaking of racism, do you think it'd help me get a fake passport? <laughs> <laughs> So you go to Japan? I might be able to help you out. I don't know. <laughs> I know you motherfuckers got some connections. <laughs> Here's. <laughs> let me tell you. Let me tell you. Exactly I speak kitchen manager, bro. I know y'all got connections. <laughs> That's right. racist. Hey, you. It ain't racist if it's true, bro. I don't. Fair. Is that how it works? Cool. Passports? No. <laughs> what do you mean? I said. I said. Um, uh, I don't know what you're about. What you, Mario? What are you talking about? I don't know. <laughs> well, I do. Okay, so I said we get back to uh, Mario's taco truck real quick. Um, I wanted to play a little game with Mario since oh we God. have an authentic Mexican on the podcast. Want to present? Yes, Brady. What's the game? It is. <laughs> wait, was that a hand raise? Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. <laughs> At least this time he raised his hand. <laughs> yeah. Usually you just interrupt me while I'm explaining something to ask. What hey, am I Paris, explaining? Hey, Paris, who am I? <laughs> Brady will yawn. Brady will take his head. He'll go. <laughs> have, have you also noticed that he's not turned off his ding the whole time as well? Like, <laughs> he's over there answering text messages as they come. <laughs> My mom's texting me tonight. Dude. Like even even Brady's mom's like, well, he's way too into this. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to go through the Taco Bell menu and want you to rate uh, their menu items on a one to ten scale of authenticity. What what should we call the segment? Um, Brady Taco Bell menu items. Is it Mexican? <laughs> yeah. All right, nacho fries. What do we got? One to ten. One. One? What? what? You're fucking weak, dude. You, dude, those are the most authentic Mexican fries I've ever had. <laughs> Don't <laughs> drop kick you, Brady. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> those are fire, bro. All right. All right, steak grilled cheese burrito. Seven. Wow, okay. Oh, okay. okay. Oh! All right. <laughs> <laughs> Mexican pizza. Ten. Ten? Really? Why is that? Really? Okay. Is it what just does that equate to in Mexico? Because it's only it's authentic because it was taken and it was brought back. Okay. Huh. Do they, yeah, Mexican, they eat Mexican pizza was, in Mexico? The pizza yeah. got deported. <laughs> yeah, it crossed <laughs> over again. Yeah. It crossed right over again. You gotta get back. I hate that. you, Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Chicken quesadilla. What we got? Oh, that's a solid eight. Eight? Okay. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Nachos Bel Grande. Are nachos very Mexican? Yeah, that that's that a good that one. that is a that's a whole different story because supposedly nachos came from Mexico. Mm -hmm. So the whole story is that there was a chef named Nacho, and oh. Nacho there was a um, a tourist that came in and they were closing down the restaurant, uh -huh. and he was just she was really hungry and he already pretty much closed everything, yeah, had nothing yeah. left. Oh, shit, so I he fried up he fried up he fried up some tortillas. And then just threw on some beans and cheese on there and just gave it to her. And then yeah. she ate them and she enjoyed them and he just called them nachos. Word. Supposedly, really the origin story of nachos? Yeah, supposedly that's, the, that's the actual origin story that wow. there was a chef named Nacho in Mexico who actually encountered a, a tourist who was hungry. Wow. They came into his restaurant and after closing hours and he just whipped up, deep fried a couple of tortillas, added some beans, cheese, and just served it. That's and wild because I... Th I I just always assumed that was like a Tex Mex thing. Like, I, see, that's what I thought so yeah. too. Until I heard, like, actual, like, looked into it. I was like, yeah, this? I, I just looked into it. Like, I was like, the nachos real? Okay, and yeah. I'm supposed that's like that's like that's the that's the story that everyone hears. Well, yeah, nachos that's, are real. Without yeah, that's a great, no, the, that's a great yeah, but story, they actually came though. from Mexico. That's a great as a thing. Story, like. So I'll give that a solid. I'll give that a seven. Okay, okay, that's okay. a seven. I like it. Okay, what about chicken chalupas? Ooh, Ooh that's a solid eight. Also, yeah. what's the chalupa? Any? What's a different? Yeah, what is the chalupas outside? are deep fried. Yeah. Oh, it's deep fried. Yeah, yeah. yeah chalupa. Chalupas oh, are fried. Oh wow. Okay, yeah, that because it is that crispy crunch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> crunch wrap supreme. What we got? Ooh. Well, that's a four. What? It's a four. But on delicious flavor, <laughs> it's hey, a it's four. Get the fuck out of here! Do the cheesy gordita crunch. Yeah, cheesy gordita yeah. crunch. What we got? That was personal. That's a five. Fuck that you. Person. That is not a five. <laughs> 
Mario. We're talking about authenticity here. Authenticity. Yeah, authenticity. I'll throw it off. Flavor. No, no flavor. Authenticity. Authenticity. Oh, no. My bad, bro. Flavor. Yeah, flavor's yeah, yeah, a ten, yeah. baby. What you mean? Y'all don't have cheesy gordita <laughs> crunches down there? No. Oh, okay. My bad. No, yeah. it's not. Damn, that's not a thing. I thought you worked. I thought you worked at the back house. Yeah, man. Doesn't mean I know their shit. Doritos Locos Tacos. That's a fucking. Bro, I know y'all got some of that shit now. Zero. 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 I know if I go to Tacos yeah. Del Trio, you gonna have some nacho no, cheese. Fuck if you come home. down there, I'll have them just for you. <laughs> I'm going Tuesday night. I know your schedule now. <laughs> Tuesday through Thursday. Tuesday through Thursday, I'm in there. Fish bro. tank. Fish tank? Yeah. Or the fish bowl. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah. so Peter. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Can we, does that mean that we can host the new the new uh stand up there? <laughs> yeah, do it. Shit, yeah. Yeah, we're, did you see that one that was going on over there? Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, here, finish. I want to get uh, that. We don't have too many left. What about uh, the cinnamon twists? Oh, bro. That's a churro. That's a churro. That's a nine. Yeah, that's a nine. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's that's a a nine. What about the little uh, breakfast Cinnabon things they have? Oh, yeah. That's a nine, also. I'll say, that, yeah. That's more authentic than a cheesy gordita crunch. Yeah. <laughs> no shit. What is gordita? Gordita that's is. That's fat girl. That's a fat girl. I was going to say, yeah. Ray knows all about that. Brady's got hey, my. bro. I don't have to come donate on. to the St. Jude Children Hospital for <laughs> solid three years. So uh, Mario, our, our joke we made is that like when Brady does these things, he and whenever they say, "Would you like to donate?" Brady's like, "I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've done enough. <laughs> <laughs> I've helped balance out the the winners and the losers." <laughs> bro, there ain't nothing more humble than a fat bitch. Like, are you gay or something? It's like, fuck, no, I have to. <laughs> yeah. Dude, if if a chick were to come at me and be like, "What?" We need to we need to start a Patreon of Jess Brady's like encounters yeah. with this chick, dude. We could, we could straight up do a uh, let's get it on um, um like a betting app and put in scenarios. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's do it. dude! If we ever okay, when when we start the Patreon though, we gotta like unleash the topics that we don't talk about on here. Yeah, for example, oh, Mario going to jail. That's, or yeah. that's Brady's. when it's gonna get so much more fun though, because yeah. I have some stories that I can't tell we gotta on make people the, pay us uh, yeah, to I, tell. Can't, yeah. I can't tell on this version yeah. of the pod i can't do it which, like jail stories which, yeah. which by yeah. the way we were a little shook last time with dylan's story so yeah. i don't know if you're <laughs> bro so, dylan went to a dark place it's, dude. A, I, haven't, I, haven't told, I haven't told any of the christmas party stories so <laughs> dylan started telling the story the other day and just he stops and goes <laughs> You're like, did you fucking kill a kid? <laughs> right. It turns out they just two, had two inbred kids jerk off on a cookie and eat it. Which is that a normal. <laughs> Mars seen worse. Yeah. Mars not even phased. Mars like, I went to jail. Seen worse. <laughs> he did a 365, dog. Yeah. Mars was like, here to do a cockfight? <laughs> <laughs> an actual cockfight? Not like, like a Mexico, an actual cockfight? Oh, an actual cockfight. Cock cock yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Speaking so of cock. You, you've been to Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> you've been to Mexico, right? Yeah. How how well do you feel like you fit in when you go to Mexico? Not one bit. I was about to say it's like because I feel that way when I go to Japan. I'm just like, I'll be I'm judged not. as fuck. Really? Why? Just because I, I don't know, it's just, everyone just like whenever you go like when you're in Japan, like they yeah. know they know that yeah, you're yeah yeah you get you get you don't have to say anything. You just, but your accent too as well. I, I, it's not even that. It's no, just, it's as not. It's you different. Walk, yeah. yeah, it's it's weird. I can't explain it. Like you can't explain it's it. A it's a mannerism like, thing. Yeah, yeah, it's like you. If I go down to Mexico, it's like I can just not say anything. And then it was like, fuck this guy. He's from, he's from the U.S. Dude, Mario, if I were to just see you in Mexico and not know you, I'd be like, yeah, he lives here. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 exactly, yeah. No, but you got like a very... Exactly. You know what I mean? You, like, yeah, exactly. You, yeah. you, got, a, you got a Guadalajara <laughs> kind of vibe. You know what I mean? Are like, you, would, would you be considered a Baisa down there? No. No? Okay. No. What's that? Paisa is like a Mexican. This is another word for Mexican. Okay. Yeah. Huh. So wh where's your family from? They're from Mexico City. Mexico City? Yeah. Ooh, okay. I heard that place is rough. You have no idea. Dude, so I, I guess my thing uh, when I'm always watching that stuff is I feel like it's like maybe a little exaggerated. You know what I mean? But is it is it is it rough? Fuck yes. What yeah. a what yeah. a white ass thing to say. <laughs> no, I was taking the this side. Is, you're you're I was all the Did you not hear the, the story about that guy in Texas who yeah, allegedly, allegedly stole fifty K from like the cartel and he lived in the US? Yeah. And they came from. They found, they, they found they, a way to get. Him. A day later, he went missing. Yeah. There's like videos of like him, like he had like the ring video, like the ring doorbell. Mm -hmm. There's videos of from that just of him getting like dragged out. Oh my bloody god! Bloody face and everything, thrown into a van and, and gone. You never see him again. Like and no, this was he was he was him. yeah he he was in Texas. 
U.S. territory. Yeah. Nobody's ever. You seen think it. you're safe here? No. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's, it's the car. Bro, yeah, dude. So, I, I remember coming back. I was in Houston, like on my way back from Japan, like literally one more flight from home, and I'm in Houston. And I'm next to a terminal that's leaving for Mexico City, yeah. right? And right next to it on the news is when El Chapo's son got, like, kidnapped or whatever by the, the government. Yeah, and then, yeah. like, the cartel is just shooting guns at planes in the air. Wait, is this oh, recently? Right? Or is it recently? This was or? in January. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the second time got when, he got, yeah, when he got, yeah, when he got, second right. time, yeah. And they're just fucking shooting yeah. machine guns at Wait, so planes were, in the air. You were... I was in Houston, but I was watching people like board onto a plane oh. to go to Mexico City. These like like fat Americans yeah. in their shirts. They're just like, it'll be fine. <laughs> it's just like we'll go in there oh as God. people are fucking yeah, shooting. Fucking, oh. Yeah, it was wild. I the was privilege like, privilege of that. I was like, like, dude, Americans, we you don't know what's going on. We are just like, so not phased by gun violence. <laughs> we just see no. it, well, and we're just like, it'd be fine. <laughs> here's my thing about it: is like I always like. <laughs> I run with people. And they're like, "Yeah, I want to backpack through Mexico. I think it'll be amazing." <laughs> and the girls will say that. I'm like, well, "Are you what? Are you <laughs> yeah, what, are you, what are you doing?" Yeah. I was like, "I was you like, are somebody." You, I was yeah. like, "Are you gonna?" She's like, "She's like, no, I really want to experience that and like do it myself. Maybe take a couple girlfriends." I was like, "You're not making the situation any better." No, <laughs> you know what I mean? it's so bad down there that whenever if we ever decide to go down there, our, my uncles and my grandparents tell me that we shouldn't wear any kind of like name brand stuff like this, yeah. Kentucky, yeah. Nike, no shit. Even the, Mexico City, yeah, because there's Makes there's sense. people in, at the airport. We'll, we'll see you and mark you. In they'll a way. mark you, and then they'll tell people that work. That's in, taking shit. They work oh. with uh, the cartel. Have like taxi routes, so, like they own taxi companies. So someone would be at the but at I the airport. The cartel doesn't fuck with Americans. <laughs> Money, yeah. So what they do is they'll they'll have people at the they airport, know. and they'll look for people that have like name brand stuff. Take a description, and then they'll call a taxi. Someone that works under with their taxi company, tell them the description, and then whenever they're outside asking for a taxi, that person who has a description looks for them, yeah. picks them up, and so then the, thinking that they'll go to their their destination, they really go to a, a, a trap house, and then so the reason the resorts, the reason you think that like no, the you, the reason you think that the, that doesn't happen is that those cartels know that they can make money off the American government. And so they will abduct these people, immediately contact the American government and be like, hey, we've got, we've got your guy. So, and so all they have to do is be like, hey, we've got your guy. How, how much are we willing to pay for him? And so that, that's why you don't hear But here's the thing, though. Also, once that happens, the U.S. government has a strict policy. They don't, uh, they they don't do, negotiate they with terrorists. With terrorists. Yeah. So what they that's do funny. is... They just fucking that's the Lord also, of War back that's to also, Russia. That's so, so whenever, also quote, unquote. <laughs> so what they, do is, what they do is the government will tell... The families of that person. Keep it quiet. And then they work together, and then they transfer the money. Yeah. But the thing is, they're never going to be seen again. Yeah. I, uh, I, had, a, I had a really light-skinned dude from Belize, mm -hmm. and he worked with us at uh, City Barbecue. He went and visited his family, and um, he, he had to go through Mexico. I can't remember where he was going. It wasn't Mexico, but he, he, he stayed there as he was going back home. Um, and he said that he legitimately, it was some heavy shit. He said he got kidnapped. Whoa. He got kidnapped um, because he was taken, the way he snuck back to go see his family was the same way he got in. So mm. they were angry. They had heard that he had basically gotten passage without, you know, yeah. 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 So um, the, the crazy thing was is that, like, he was just at a regular, like, a, at a bar. The thing that they were able to keep tabs on, like, a, a dude. Yeah, yeah. But he was a light-skinned dude, so they thought he was just some, uh, from what he said, some white dude yeah, yeah. coming through some there. Gringo. So th they kidnapped him and kidnapped him. They invited him, like you guys just said, to a party. He was out drinking. They had a girl invite him back somewhere. Yep. Whoa. They had a girl invite him back somewhere and then they threw a, 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 a sheet a bag, over, his head, yeah, yeah. over his head, pulled him somewhere and said, hey, we're not going to hurt you. That's not our plan. But uh, you're not going anywhere. Yeah. Whoa. He's like, so we're, just give us your phone numbers of people that need to send you money. And they're like, it, it'll be 15,000 like pesos or some shit. Like, it, it wasn't that much, but it was to the point to where it was like, it's like 40 bucks. They're doing it to where they, yeah, well, they're doing <laughs> 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. You know what we would have done? Like, right, only 15? Your, Dude, right. I'm way more. We need your tips in tonight. <laughs> I'm way more than 15,000 pesos. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Make it 150. <laughs> <laughs> My mom would definitely shove over at least 60. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, he said that and, he, and they kept saying, like, uh, they were like, are you uh, American? He's like, no, I'm not American. Like, he's like, I'm from Belize. Mm -hmm. And they're like, we don't believe you. 
so he they kept trying to contact his family. He's like, I don't have any family in the states. He, he's like, <laughs> yeah. I have my aunt. So then his aunt had to send like a thousand dollars. And the thing was, they were like, or like, well, here's the thing: even if you don't, she's gonna send something. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean. Right, like, yeah. we've already done all this. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Like, they're asking for a shit ton of money, but like, he's like, they're like, well, we've already got you. Damn. And then. I was like, well, they're not scared they're going to get caught. He goes, dude, it's the cartel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, what is the, So it, it was just crazy to hear that because also his story, how he got to the States was he was on a train for seven days. And that Whoa. shit is just wild. Like, he said he slept on top of it. Well, yeah, how did he yeah. get free again? He, so his aunt sent the money. So then they put it back. 15,000 pesos? It was, it was like. $1,000. Like, yeah. It was like, yeah, oh. like about 1000 bucks, And, um. They literally dropped him off at the same bar they kidnapped him. And I was like, I was like, what'd you do? He goes, well, I went and got a beer. Yeah. I was like, how funny if he did the same thing again yeah. with the same chick? Like, I was like, he's like, dude, I saw her that night. He's like, I was hammered. I was like, uh, maybe I'll do it this time. Uh, <laughs> dude, we got to start doing the same kind of thing with like cocktails. We can start getting some money for the pod. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't want to hurt you. We're going to yeah. kidnap Tyler Lamke first. <laughs> They'll just give us the money themselves. Yeah, dude. Right? Like, I'll, I'll cover it. <laughs> but so. Just hang out with me one night. On our on our heavy tangents here. So, if you're just now tuning in on the 45 minute mark, <laughs> we are here with Mario, food truck, Trace Lady. Yeah. Tacos Torillo. Tacos Torillo. Torillo. Yeah. Come on. Tacos Come on. To- Guys, that's way too much. Trio. I don't even get names down. Yes, sir. <laughs> I know I got here late, but Dylan, you know me. <laughs> it's tacos to trio. Thank oh, you, Godfather. Brady. Thank you, Freddie. Thank you. Okay. He's been, he's been here half the time you've been here. So, <laughs> so now that you're doing that. Yes, Brady. I never yes, got Brady. to ask my original question. What is it? Yeah. Have we, we done get... the bracket yet? No. No, we talked about it. That we're is, about to come uh, out of that. Wait, you talked about it, so you did do it? No, no we'll be. No, oh, okay. We told him that we were going to do it. Ooh. Ready comes What's in the here. bracket? I'm All right, so let's do it. Next oh, yeah. bracket well segment. Yeah, yeah. So, My question's uh, dumb. Fuck it. No, yeah. it is. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> no, no. All right. Fuck Cutter's yeah, question. No, fuck Cutter's okay. question. Fuck Cutter's question. question. Right. 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 Brady, what bracket? Please go. Well, no, I'll hear his question now. I will. What's your question, Hunter? Then yeah, what's your question? I was just going to say, do you see yourself expanding into a bigger market with another truck? All right, so back to the bracket. Yeah, back to the bracket. Go. Brady, we're going to finish off the West. Well, I say we let Mario choose. Yeah, Mario, yeah, Mario you there. pick, man. What's your favorite show of all time? Unfortunately, there's no Telemundo up here. So <laughs> no, they're bear not, with me. None of them. Shit. And the ESPN Deportes team. If you need to go up there, Mario, you, you can go up there yeah. and take you a look. Yeah, ESPN, the Ocho. Oh, yeah. bro, the I ESPN wish. The Ocho. <laughs> That's real. No, ESPN, the Ocho is real, bro. That's a banger. Oh Brady, Brady just read off, read off our matchups. And, yeah. All right, and here's Mario what we got left, one. Mario. All we right. got Pokemon versus The Office. Okay. We got Law and Order versus American Horror Story. All right. We have Full House versus Sons of Anarchy. Okay. We have That 70s Show versus Danny Phantom. Oh, ooh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> we have South Park versus Two and a Half Men. Okay. That's just the left side. Now we get the right. We got friends versus That's so raven Is the future I can see That's so raven So mm-hmm. still it is to me Then we got <laughs> Avatar and Bill Nye The science guy Which, Bill, a, which Bill, Avatar? Bill. What? Which Avatar? Nickelodeon Okay The guy who bends yeah. air And then we got In Living Color and Drake and Josh We Ooh. got Power Rangers and Magic School Bus Which Mighty, Power Rangers? Mighty Wait, Morphin bro Mighty Morphin We ain't doing yeah. that bitch ass Zeal fucking yeah. shit <laughs> Thank you Okay Fresh Prince of Bel Air and David the Barbarian. Gosh, why did oh, David the Barbarian God, get David up there? David the Barbarian. Fucking Paris. <laughs> Scooby Doo and It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Oh. <coughs> Walker, Texas Ranger versus DuckTales. <laughs> and Golden Girls versus Captain Planet, bro. Captain Planet. What matchup you got, Mario? What are we going to listen to? Hunter, pull up your phone so we can I'm get this it. going. So how does this work exactly? You Just pick, pick whatever, whatever matchup you want to do, and we're going to listen to it, and then we're going to debate it, and then whoever wins, wins. Always sunny in Philly. Oh, oh that's my favorite. So that's all time, sunny. Mario. I need some more bourbon though before I uh-huh. Mario, do you like that show? It's my favorite show of all time. Yeah. All right, so it's that that leaves Fresh Prince versus Dave the Barbarian for the boys. Okay. So. Well, well, we still got to do South Park and Two and a Half Men. No, well, I'm just saying. I'm. Just, wait, what? Yeah, we we've started the West. No, we already did that. That's what I was telling you. Some more? That's what I was telling you before. That's just not filled in. What is this? Hold oh, on. you guys already did what South Park. Hold on. 
No, we didn't do it yet. No, we did that. No, we did Chris Angel Mon Freak and Three's Company last year. No, that's you can go ahead and skip ahead at this point, and we will be back while we do the bracket. And we are back with our bracket challenge today. First up, we got It's Always Sunny versus Scooby Doo. We're gonna hear a little bit of It's Always Sunny first and talk about it. Scooby Doo, talk about it, and we'll determine your winner. Hit it, Hunter. Classic. Classic, man. Yeah. You can't go Love wrong. It. Everybody yeah. knows it when they hear it. Yep. It sets the tone for the show. Very yep. silly and very yeah. stupid. Yeah. It reminds me of Stuck and Static. <laughs> hey, that's perfect. Well, reminds I me feel- of Tacos Del Trio, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was aggressive. That it's, was very aggressive. So the, you could drop but, but, <laughs> the the intro is cool about this one is because it's basically the city of Philadelphia. going through Philly. Yeah. Yeah. And every time I go through Philly listening to this, I'm like, this is depressing. You yeah. go through Philly listening yeah. to that? Yeah, <laughs> every time. <laughs> what have you gone through Philly doing that? The multiple shit. times I went there, the one time it was great. <laughs> But so, uh, so here's what we we'll do. We're it's funny because like it's such like a classy like classical sound, and they're so degenerate. Yeah. Oh, bro, there's a the show. Masters All right, so let's let's go ahead and see Scooby Doo, and let's see what we're right. I am hype. I haven't listened to Scooby Doo in forever. I'm gonna sing along with it too. See how much I remember. Here we go. We got some ads. Scooby Dooby Doo. Where are you? I'm pretty sure the Beatles did this, right? So where to do the monkeys? Oh, the monkeys did it. Scooby Dooby no. Doo. Where are you? We got some work. And the video's dope. The video's dope. They're getting dude. chased by a fake monster. Yes, yeah, dude. Freddy's falling in the back of a closet. Yeah. Did you hear that French horn in the back too? The way the shape can shiver. Not everything is a French you know horn, Brady. Right? <laughs> ready for your ass. Don't hold back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> have yourself a hot attack. Scooby oh, snack. Scooby snack. Scooby snack. Scooby snack. I'm sorry. That was aggressive. Huh? <laughs> no, it was not aggressive enough. I'll drop kick you. How about that? Thank you. Thank you. Do we do? Do we get that? So, oh, wow. I do I do want to go ahead and do this, though. Yeah. Because uh, speaking of the monkeys doing that, some, not some 41, uh, who was it? The one that's like, I know a place off Ocean Avenue. Yellow. Yellow, Yellow card. card. Yellow card, yeah. So they did, they did the, uh, no, Simple Plan. It's Simple Plan. Simple Plan did uh, this one. No, it's Yellow Card. That's Yellow Card. That's Ocean's Avenue. No, no, no. Yellow. Ocean's no, Avenue, yeah. No, no, no. I'm saying, I'm saying that who did this one, and it's Fire. Yeah, but we're not talking about that one. We're, saying, we're not though, talking about that one. We're not saying, talking about that it's one. A banger. I it's a banger. It's a banger, but is that on the is that on the on the no, bracket? No, no, is it on the bracket? Is it on the bracket? Is it on the bracket? Is that the one on the bracket? Yes or no? That's right. That's right. Okay then. Okay. So, Mars going back. I don't have to say nothing. Okay, Paris. Is that not a banger though? It is. I agree. Yeah. Can I be honest with you? I don't think it is. You're full of shit. Here's why. That's a shitty generation of Scooby Doo. Okay, you're telling me. And I'll me- tell you this: if it was a banger, it'd be on the bracket. Ooh! Oh. Guess what's not on the bracket? Fucking simple plans. Ocean's Avenue. Fucking Scooby Doo. That's why Mario doesn't have any more bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you get. That's smell why I have feet. one. Yeah. That's, That's why you're paying full price the taco truck, bitch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Double so. price. <laughs> you want to double me on all your tacos? It says I got three nachos. <laughs> No, it's for the story I gave you. <laughs> it's all we had left in the It's all we had, yeah. That's all you get. We put everything away. That's all you had, yeah. We called him Mario. We're not yeah. double wrapping your tacos. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so what are we thinking? This, uh, I, here's the thing. If we're talking pure intro, mm-hmm. Scooby's going to have to have it. No way. Because if, no, if you don't see the video with Always Sunny, but maybe maybe we're talking all the about- video and it's always sunny. This is my favorite show, but all the video is them going through shitty Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's kind of like the Office where they're just like a little theme and then yeah, but like it's boom, a worse city because right. Philadelphia. Yeah, it is yeah. kind of funny though the elegant music over such a shitty city. Oh, it's hilarious. Yeah, right. It's so very smart. It's a very. Uh, it kind of like tells what what we're going what but we're in for. That's where it comes in. So are we basing this off of? Like music. The only reason why you like the Scooby Doo intro is because it's nostalgic, and that's the only reason why it's bringing you back to the good old days. You can sing along to it, dude. That part. Do you sing along to it? I did. Did you not just hear us the whole time? You sang along to the Mario. We literally just sang Always Sunny. (laughs) There you go. There you go. Yeah. But with with Always Sunny, it makes you happy though. So I like Always Sunny because 
if, if I'm fucked up, if I'm sober, True. it's always a song where I'm like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, get your bag up. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. It's okay. I just did that last line. All right, everybody <laughs> calculate your votes. No, no, no. Oh, this is tough. Oh, this is, this this is, is the guest one. This is the guest portion. This is this is his choice. He's picking the winner? Yeah. Now nah, we're voting on this one. That's what we did the first oh, time with the guest. That's what we did, with so we did the first time. I thought we all voted with him, and no, he voted with no. us. We all kind of agreed at the end. To be honest, so many words were getting spoken. I don't even think we talked about the bracket when we picked. No, we did. No, we <laughs> did. <laughs> I'll be honest. It turned into always a sunny. It turned into a hole. It's always no, sunny. No, all right. No, all right. It's always sunny. No, no, it's always yeah. sunny. It's Why always sunny. It's always sunny. Okay. We got to vote on. Yeah, this. we got to vote. Let on me. That. Okay. Let me ask you this. All right. How many seasons Explain. of Scooby Doo had? Are you kidding me? Scooby Doo still going on right now? No, the old Scooby Doo, not the new Scooby Doo. It's still Scooby Doo though. No, no, no. It's not. It's not. not You call. You're telling me Scoo that Scooby Doo is the same Scooby Doo as Scooby Doo Velma? It's not the same. Really? You want to go to Velma? You want to go to Velma Hunter? We can go to Velma right now, Hunter. We can go to Velma right now, Hunter. Okay. I'm fighting for it. I'm like, do it. All right. It's always something you know it, right? It's not even the same intro anymore. Thank you. It's not. Like, Thank it's, you. It's All not right. the same show. It's not no. the same show. No. You're only using that because it's nostalgia. It brings you back to the that good old like days, five, and that's the only reason years. why. Like yes, five, Brady. I disagree with that statement. I think it's a banger of a song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a banger of a song, <laughs> Brady. A of a song. Okay, okay, but he's only it's using that because it brings you to the good old days. No, hold on. 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 I'm going to take Mario's out on this. It's The Scooby-Doo song is a banger of a song. It fits, but like... In terms of the nostalgia, like as soon as I hear the It's Always Sunny song, I know exactly what I'm fucking looking for. I know exactly the show I'm wa- going to watch. Like it, no, it, it fits I'm really patient so with fucking well. <laughs> yes, Brady. Yes, Brady. Go for it. But also with these in- with these intros, I go a lot off video as well. So like take DuckTales, for instance. Y'all. <laughs> DuckTales intro is sick. DuckTales is <laughs> bro. You <laughs> get, get a cinematic and, it's and sick. you get a banger it's of a song. A plus cinematic. Is, this is just okay, my opinion. The, vi- you're getting... the, video, the video of Sunny is so much better than the video of Scooby-Doo. No, you're not. Thank you. You're you're yes. You're you're I'll bullshit. drop kick you right <laughs> Drop <laughs> kick. <laughs> no, the video, you're telling me that Always Sunny is the video is better than yes, the Scooby Doo. You get Scooby Doo in the insane. gang getting hey, chased hey, by Hunter, monsters. Hunter, Hunter, let me ask you this. Hunter, let me ask you this. There's, 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 there's this. nothing happening Hunter, in the video. Hunter, let me ask you this. Yeah, that's why I watch Scooby Doo. Hunter, Hunter, that's exactly why I watch Scooby Doo. Let me ask you this. Hunter. Yes, Mario. Please uh, give me some more bullshit. All right, let's uh, let's go take a trip to uh, Philadelphia because I already watched that. Yeah, okay. Let's go take a trip to Scooby Doo. Please, I'll show you eight. They travel the country. Where? You can't do that. They you travel the country. I, I want to go. I want to go to a spot in that intro, though. I want to go to one of those castles. You got acid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already got an astral project right now. Yeah. All right. Man, I didn't know this was this. All right. Podcast. Overall, I choose Sunny. I don't care what you say. All right. Yeah, there's okay. one vote. There's one vote. No, we're doing a vote for this one. And I'm guess not what? Allowing it. I already put two. All right, we got two votes for It's Always Sunny. At least three people, motherfuckers. I'm Scooby. I'm Scooby. There's two pairs to the tiebreaker. Oh, why did we let Mario be the tiebreaker? Fuck. No, Mario's fuck him. He he's, it's always sunny. Sunny. Oh. He's, he's, he's going ridiculous on it. And he's not even making sense. I'll drop not, kick you, Hunter. That makes no, <laughs> There's Mario. a big, giant, cracked bell in Philadelphia. That video is so much fucking bad. How, How many seasons How? does Scooby do you have? How did many you watch seasons? The video? You want to see fucking people. It's not people. about quality of the show, it's about the intro. You fucking motion in the same fucking spot and. Yeah, You're I do. You're driving a fucking line, Dylan. <laughs> it makes. It, it's just. It's just. That's it, half the intro, right? Anyone here. can do that. Not everyone <laughs> can get the monkeys. The, in the fucking. The original Scooby Doo only had three seasons, Hunter. Oh, Paris, pick Scooby Doo. Fuck. Oh, gee. okay. Hold on. My we're not, question. We're not going off quality of show. My though. question is: Is the nostalgia a it's good the, or a bad it's thing a, about it? It's is a great. That's the nostalgia. Force me to pick Scooby Doo because it's so nostalgic, or does the nostalgia make me pick It's Always Sunny? Oh, yeah, because bro, if we're going it is also nostalgic. nostalgic. We would pick Three's Company last time. No, no it wouldn't because I've never seen no. that. Well, you no. just don't haven't seen anything. <laughs> 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 and I this quote, it's not a cartoon I ain't watched. This is true. Um, you got to think to yourself. All right. You know for a fact Simple Plan came on there. That was a banger. Fuck you, Simple Plan. No, I'm not even. That's not the original, Hunter. That's not the original. That's not in the first three seasons. The first three seasons. You don't get to say, you can't add that, Hunter, right? Yeah, because it's good for your fucking buddy. You don't get to say, you can't add that, Hunter, right? Yeah, because it's good for your buddy. You point. There's uh, no reason why there should be 12. Uh, How many hey, members uh, do you have? Buddy. By the way, yeah. if Paris yeah. picks It's Always Sunny, Zach's the new tiebreaker. <laughs> 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 I'll just make that clear until somebody fucking picks Scooby-Doo. 
Oh my god, this is a tough decision, yes. boys, because Scooby Doo is very deep. You're gonna cause a lot of controversy across the world. With this I really, I, right here. and like that's the thing. It's like I only watch cartoons, but I, I've seen a fuck ton of it's always sunny. I, I've, I've seen so much, good. Yeah. dude. You know what? Scooby Doo. I've I'm watched. On, I'm not gonna lie. I'm more of a fan of It's Always Sunny than I am The Office. Like that's oh The Office. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's always Sunny. Yeah. Shits in The yeah. Office. Hundred percent. So. I mean, we have the office as a fucking on. one seat. Come on, do it. No, they're AC. You know you want to do, do it. it. You don't want to do it, Paris. Oh, I forgot. Fuck that shit. I'm hey, we're, fuck all that. Paris. Was, come on. Scooby Doo, bro. Look. Uh-oh. Paris. This is a big moment. <laughs> He's though. cracking under pressure. Look. He's cracking. <laughs> you can, Here's you the can thing. see the, you, you can You're see acting the like marks, LeBron so just, James about to pick Miami uh, Heat. Uh, just say Scooby Doo. Here's the thing, right? Just say it. Here's the thing, right? No, I don't want to hear the thing. I've definitely, I've definitely scrolled through as a child, scrolled through the TV channels, got to a Scooby Doo intro, and not watched. It. Yes. And I've never done that. That's it's always what sunny. I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Always sunny, baby. That's Let's get it. He didn't pick. He, didn't pick. he just said a statement. Doing, I'm. I got to go because it sucks me in. Like. <laughs> Him, don't it's let always him. sunny when. Yes! 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 No! 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 Zach, I sort of got it. No! It's fair, bro. It's fair. Thank you. Yes. No! Yes! No! Yes! No! Where's my marker? So Let's go. Draw my picture. This on is horseshit. This is horseshit. This is it's horse always shit. sunny. This Sorry. is horseshit. I'll be dude. honest. This was the first one we did where I was truly shocked by the outcome. I knew, I knew <laughs> SpongeBob go. was going to beat the ranch because the ranch is. See. <laughs> You know, that's why we do these I brackets, knew baby. Was gonna be all I can, that. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm legit like shivering. I'm so angry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm th- fair is fair. Fair is fair. Paris, did you truly I'm mean sorry. that? Yes, I did. Because I'm sitting here, I'm thinking about it. Because Scooby Doo, I eventually got over it after a minute. Yeah, I've done I never got over it. Three seasons. That's a bell. Sorry, Hunter. That's a song. This is bullshit. This is upsetting. This is very upsetting. I'm oh, sorry, Hunter. Here's, here's I'm upset. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> What's that with you? <laughs> so, you didn't raise your hand. So, I hate you. Yeah, welcome to the club, bro. Here we so, go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, my life's hard. So, it's close enough. what was I saying? Fuck. I've, it's Always Sunny in Philadelphia is my favorite TV show in the history of all TV shows. But the oh, intro God. is not better than fucking Scooby Doo, bro. Yeah. It's just what? It, like, it I'm sorry. It's I'm sorry. That's ridiculous. You're sorry. Sa- for you to admit. sorry. Brady, it's okay. It's hard Brady, for you to admit. Brady, it really it's okay. Is. We're gonna be okay. I'm gonna say one last statement. And I'm dropping it, or I'm gonna get really fucking pissed off. So Listen, that's <laughs> every time I watch an Always Sunny intro, I skip through. It's like, oh, this is. You know, yeah. Scooby Doo. I'll sing along with it. I'm fucking eating Fruit Loops to it, bro. I'm fucking dancing. I'm excited what? to watch what yeah. ghouls so, and goblins so they saw. But who won? So look for for anybody that's America. wondering. For anybody Damn that's straight. wondering, always sunny one. For anybody, America. for anybody that's wondering, he said he would drop this, and I've never seen him drop anything, <laughs> including, including a fat bitch. So I don't think. I don't think <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're gonna see him drop it. I'm just saying. You know? Sorry, guys, that I don't have standards. <laughs> Must be nice living your fucking ivory castles. <laughs> Listen, apparently we can't go to castles anymore because we're not with the mystery machine. <laughs> right. This is bullshit. Dude. Damn straight. <laughs> always sunny. You ever seen anybody buy and it's always sunny in Philadelphia car? Or have you ever seen people buy a fucking mystery machine? Facts. Facts. There is a mystery Who machine won? in Lexington too. Yeah. Scoreboard. Scoreboard. <laughs> oh, let's go. All right, let me ask you this. Do you like this, this last scoreboard. Do you like, uh, do you like <laughs> scoreboard? Do you like Chris Angel Mon Freak Mario? I love it. Can we watch that? <laughs> Can we please watch that intro? Can we please watch that intro? Paris, you really killed it. Let's go. Let's get it. Dude, we said that back. We said that in Paris for the first time. He was amazing. Yeah, bro, that's the what greatest. Is this? What the fuck? I might He's win got the that bracket. whisper tone down. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? Bro. Chris Angel he, he was like, he's like, these are so many amazing cuts. <laughs> yeah. The edits are great, dude. <laughs> yeah, how's Every the, frame so detailed. How's the editing? That's it's always sunny. True. <laughs> I don't right, know. Ask, so, Sco- ask Scooby Scooby Doo. 
Dude, you better shut your fucking hey, mouth. I'll drop with, kick you under. A dude with a right <laughs> hand. <laughs> if it's any way like the way you got over that fence, I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> dude. Right. He goes up to it and Which just fence? turns around. Wow. No, no, no. We gotta find are, are are just, is it because of Mexican? No, Hunter? don't is bring the show into this. Is it because of Mexican, huh? What was the reason then? Huh? I'm because curious. You said I'm you couldn't hop over a large fence. I never said that. No, you guys talked about it. I never said that. I we talked about it. I never you said I could. Said okay, Paris right. phrased that you couldn't get the fence down. Because okay. it was 10 feet tall. What are you saying, all right? It's because of Mexican, huh? Well, your parents could I'm do it. Allegedly. Allegedly. No, the same hunter? thing happened when we were like 10 years old. Like, yeah. Mario couldn't hop over a fence, bro. He didn't hear. He didn't Mario, stop I'm hearing about it for years. Bad. Mario, I've yeah. seen a lot of people. I, I promise you I put $100 on it. You have no hops. <laughs> yeah. no, I, don't, I, got no, I know I got no if hops. If you were to jump up, we'd be like, did you do anything? <laughs> I know like, I got no uh, hops. But it's because of Mexican? <laughs> yeah. You know what? Ever since you got the fucking Chupa Lupa going thing, I don't know. Chupa where Lupa? Nah. <laughs> Chupa Cabra. Chupa Lupa? You that's know, a that's a Taco Bell dish. This is all you know, new to I've, me right I've now. Noticed, huh. I've noticed it. It's interesting that you know jumping's not an intricate part of soccer. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Hunter, what are you right. trying to say, Hunter? That was racist as fuck. Basketball on the other hand. Yeah. <laughs> so Hunter, uh, Mario, here's the point I was trying to say. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep coming back to it. Yeah. If it's a ten foot wall, mm-hmm. and you had to be on my team, yeah. you're not getting picked. Yeah. <laughs> Just like Scooby Doo didn't get picked. Oh, oh fuck! Oh. Yeah, keep drinking that beer. I spiked all. Yeah. <laughs> spiked you some. Uh, we call it Philadelphia dust. You yeah. fucking cuck. Can't hey, wait. wait. Yeah. I'll be ready to trip some acid tonight, if bro. If anyone would enjoy a spike, it'd be Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Mario would make the best of it. He'd be like, dude, I'm feeling great. <laughs> I'm, I'm, where are we going? I spiked every beer with acid and poison. Let's see which one kicks in Whoa. first. <laughs> Let's hope the poison. <laughs> which, Your fingers crossed. My Your fingers crossed. I don't know if you ever watched it. I recently got back into I was telling them about this. Do uh, you remember Reno 911? Fuck, Fuck yeah. yeah. Dude. Oh, that's, that's a great cool it, Hunter just started watching it for the first time. In okay, so years. I've only seen a couple episodes, and so I have my sober self. Don't get mad at me for not seeing fucking three what? company. What no, the hell? no, Paris, what yours is, is that? Paris that's is a classic. No, 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 but so is Reno nine one one. No, no, no. <laughs> Paris is to the extreme where like we'll just make a normal uh, movie reference, and it'll be like, eh. like <laughs> have you seen that? Well, of course, <laughs> he's like, no. Well, of course, yeah. Step Brothers most quotable movie on and Paris is like. Oh, I've seen yeah. Step Brothers. Uh, what? You've seen Step Brothers? Yeah, I've seen that. Mo- okay, there's a few movies I've seen probably 90 times each, and that's one of them. Tell it again, nice. Yeah. That came yes, out like in movie Express. theaters. Yeah. Pineapple Express. Of course, you've seen Pineapple Express. So yeah. What are you saying? <laughs> what are you saying, Hunter? Um, I'm- <laughs> you say I got Chinese eyes? Yeah. No. <laughs> the fuck, Hunter? Hunter okay, no second, longer am I. That's g- the second racist thing you've said to me. You guys, no in longer. In a row. I, I'm not After you put us on the couch I knew that's what it was going to come to You're going to sequester us over in the corner I've noticed that every time we get diverse in here You get really racist Yeah Yeah. Yeah. It gets a little Yeah, You're showing your whiteness That diesel champagne hat you're wearing Yeah (laughs) The backroom couch was excessive (laughs) Right Hey We don't hate on the backroom casting couch in here I tell you what, man. Hell yeah, brother. Growing up, me and Mario. Yeah, hey, yeah, that, that, <laughs> that's the greatest porn that's, out there, bro. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> no. that's like a major like growing point for me. I mean, literally growing point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you do anal? No, never in my life. Well, guess what? Producers really want to see. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's all I gotta do. Yeah. You do now. I, I was yeah. just about to say, uh, like, uh, I was about to hop over here on Dylan's. I was going to say that's the one intro that Mario needed up there. <laughs> dude, <laughs> the backroom couch on there, dude. Why the yeah, why, why the back couch? Nah. Why, why the back couch? Because I'm Mexican. Absolutely, bro. <laughs> I'm, over said that. <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> really? I'm over the whole. I'm Mexicano. You have no I've, idea, been over it. <laughs> I've been over you it. I've been over it. You ain't no pizza, bro. I've been over, dude. Get the fuck over yourself. You're, gr- right. you're gringo as fuck, bro. You ain't no bicep. I've been dude, over it. Dude, he's more gringo than me, dude. <laughs> No, no uh, one's ever going to do that. You're wearing a pizza pallet planet shirt, I right? <laughs> no, I, I wanted to change my shirt, and they were like, yeah, it looks good. You're yeah, wearing a pizza planet shirt, all right? Mario, is something really funny? We just wanted you all to incident, incidentally match, you know? <laughs> me, and, me and Hunter today, without discussing it, are both wearing Toy Story shirts. <laughs> oh, my God, you are. But you're less white. <laughs> right? Oh, bro, I'm not Absolutely, white. Absolutely, yeah. No, I'm no, not somehow, white. Yeah, yeah. Somehow. You wore, you wore the Pisa, so... I'm, I am a bicep, bro. I'm PJ fucking yeah. body, bro. You one of these? Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> horse shit. Dude. Yeah, that, you get one of these. With that... <laughs> bro, I wear two chains of fuck fat head? bitches. I'm Mexican. With that skinhead? <laughs> yeah, why are you wearing a hat? Why are you wearing a hat, Hunter, huh? 
<laughs> he won't shave his head is why he wears now, a hat. Here's what I'm going to say. All right. The minute I shave this, Hunter's going to change. Well, you going to be full racist at that point? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Feels Dylan. Bad, or what are you doing right now? Are you flexing your flow? Remember, there's two bald people in here. Yeah, are you flexing your flow? <laughs> One. Damn, look at that part. Look at our parts. <laughs> yeah, hey, look at that you know what area. skill I have that y'all don't have because you have hair and I have a skill because I don't? What? I could shave my own fucking head. Let's see y'all do it. Yeah, it's a good point. It's a good point. It's a good point. It's a good point. The only difference is mine would grow back. Is, uh, that's, that's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, what mine we grows right is not in the same spot. No, no, guys. Here's here's what we got to come down. Uh, Mario turned us against each other. <laughs> Bro, he and brought the street Jesus yeah, in here. Everything yeah, changed, right. man. He brought he, he brought the Dolly of Dollies. <laughs> I'm just loving the racial dynamic in here because finally there's more not white people in this. Don't, yeah. don't try and You have no idea. No, no, no. It really is. Don't try and I've seen a couple of episodes. I've seen a couple of episodes. Notice how, oh, Notice how he didn't bring this up. Diversity. That's all I'm saying. Notice how he didn't bring this up when Yoku was here. He just yeah. he, yeah. Waited until it was, he waited until it was something slightly less than black. Yeah. He was like, okay, they're not slightly but as. When they have a minority without goons right yeah. next to him. Yes, Brady. Yes, Brady. Yes, Brady. I can claim him. Yeah. Yes, Brady. Go. I think I fit all the requirements to be a Mexican. Go on. I want to hear your opinion. <laughs> Mario's going to Mar- 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 listen to the yeah. application. Yeah. <laughs> Can I send my application to you? Yeah. Let, me, let, me call, let me call the supervisor. <laughs> hey. Please do, man. How's your dad doing? This is, throw, <laughs> this is throwback to when Mario would call his mom in fifth grade. <laughs> and he would just sit there and like the whole class would go silent and listen to him talking in Spanish with his mom. <laughs> right? Are you calling, are you calling Lucy right now? Are you calling the real superintendent? Oh, dope. Oh, dude. Lucy. You, hey, you can connect you to the board. We can all talk to him. Just put it on speaker and put it right next to the mic. It'll be fine. No, I like. I think I fit the requirements. I'd love to hear, you know. I want the card. I want I, in. I, I, yeah. <laughs> you want the, oh, what the? I want in. Oh, you can't get the card. It, yeah, you earn the card. Is, he wants right. a, oh, I'll is this still a green card? For, he wants a Cholo name. <coughs> you ain't getting that? Nah, it's too I can't get no uh, Cholo name? That's get a, that bro, I put Cholula on everything. What's the uh, Cholo equivalent of Japan, Paris? Aquí soy con Chino. Oh, he just said it. Aquí en su casa. Yeah, yeah he said house, Una pregunta. bro. Aquí estamos haciendo un podcast con mis amigos. Oh, y uno de mis amigos dice que podcast. él dice yeah, que Yeah, he's talking chica. about me. Eat at Tacos Trio. <laughs> Tacos Trio, best Mexican restaurant in town. Now I'm hablando de la troca y todo eso porque muchas personas van a ir. Yeah, we're going to come comida. Dude, we're going to get a bunch of viewers on this one. Bro, we're going to hit algorithm. Do we got subtitles on here? Porque él trabaja con mexicanos. Dude, Paris, we got to name this episode in Spanish. Tacos Trio, eh? Can I get my requirements? <laughs> well, what are your requirements? Number one, I fuck fat bitches. God damn it, my mother, Brady. It is? Yes. Well, she's about to be really disappointed yeah, in what I you're know doing she tonight. Is. Hey, she's already. Show no. Hey, Show no. Dice que él es mexicano porque él le gusta dormir con las viejas gordas. She said, oh my God. <laughs> Number, What's number two, two Brady? I wear two chains always, huh? And one of my chains is a cross sí. on it. But again, again, what is it? I wear two chains always. One of my chains is a big cross on it. <laughs> That's good. That's, That's good. a good one. That's a good one. He said he has a those chains. Shut <laughs> <laughs> up. It's chain O. Those chain O. Chain of the Jesus. De Jesus. No, for Jesus, bro. That's de Jesus. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, you get I, one check. I get one check. <laughs> I didn't get a first check. <laughs> he was shocked, right? What's the third one? The third, third one? Back of the house. Ten years. I've been back of the house my whole life. I've always worked kitchens. I've always been the only white guy. Uno yeah. Blanco. En la cocina que él, los, las cocinas que él trabajado que Uno hay, Gringo. Es el único y el otro son paisas. <laughs> You get another check. Uh, there's two. <laughs> there's two, bro. Oh, keep going, keep going. All right, what's another? I've one? understood 85 percent of what you said to your mom. <laughs> Dude, Brady's about to prep a fucking quesadilla. He's <laughs> a Drake's. A la madre, check. <laughs> <laughs> That's three out of four. What else, Brady? Uno mas. Last one. Here we go. Tell your madre, she's my mia more. Te amo. <laughs> Dice que, de, dice que te quiere mucho que él es tu amor. 
He said, if it's true that you're going to come back at house and work at our food truck. And Bro, I would love that. Hey, He's a kid, kid. I would love that, dude. <laughs> Certified. <laughs> Bro, I've been trying to work on my ex-executive chef's food truck off Lee's Pero Town Road. But when he does those tacos, he can say Mexicano, right? I can cook a mean fucking taco, okay, bro. Okay, let me and do quesadillas. I'll fuck yeah, that shit yeah. up. Give us a. All right, bye. She said you have a good a good card, but you have to yet to work back a house with us. And then once I'll you once you pass the taco test, you will get the card. Oh, oh that's yeah. dude. When do I start? Uh, we'll figure that out. We'll, oh, I also do a trash. I work two jobs. It's a trash job. You've been overqualified. That you've been overqualified. Call her back. Call her back. We can't have you here. <laughs> call her back, bro. You're over. Call her back. <laughs> You're overqualified, Brady. All right, chill out. We can't pay you enough. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that was yeah. good. Wow, certified. So I'm Mexican. I just want to make that clear. You're 85 percent right now. Do you get the last? Hey, I'll take that <laughs> shit like a motherfucker. So the, when you get the last 15, you gotta work at the food truck. Bro, I can't <laughs> wait to walk up. Hola, <laughs> me amo, Brody. Brody, yeah. <laughs> Bro, are you worried? Bro. You He'll think, that, dude? When I show up and I get on that fucking truck with an apron and I start cooking, y'all gonna see something, bro? Man. I can't wait. I can't and, wait. And the funny thing is too. Like that, that being at the eighty five percent, he definitely has the stories of like you were like you hear a story of someone come over the border. Brody has those stories every day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like he's got the stories. Wow. Yeah. You, Which you one? got certified, bro. That's the certification. That's, a first, that's the first. That's a first one that was here. Powerful stuff. That's the first one that stuck, stuck in static, I think. Yeah, this is absolutely. true. Yeah. We Dude. just got a little more ethnic on this podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Hey guys, I'm no thanks to Hunter, but yeah. Certified. I'm the Shut first. The fuck up, <laughs> I'm the first trans race person ever. Let's go. Whoa. You're the third, but okay. Yeah. Who's the first trans race Rachel person? Rachel Dolezal. Who the fuck is that? You don't know That's Rachel Dolezal? No. Rachel Dolezal is this transracial woman. She's a white lady, but she acted black, and she became the chapter president of the NAACP well, in different. Washington State. I don't act Mexican, bro. She acted black. I act myself. Well, and I think that's what gives you more <laughs> props. Mexican. You just are Mexican. <laughs> yeah, like, I, yeah. I think that gives you more props is that, like, like because you're not trying to act it, they're like, come on in. It's genuine. It's genuine. Yeah, like, it is on genuine. On yeah. This is why, dude, the, the, my amigos the past 10 years hey, love this shit. I would say the fucking fat bitch. You know what I mean? You don't know what you I said. I think fucking fat bitch just put him over 50%. And then that's yeah, absolutely. Uh, it really, yeah, that's yeah. Like the next little bit. It's like, oh, and you have two jobs? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, I, if I gave him two jobs, I'd have been overqualified. Mario, I got to yeah, ask you this. Because yeah, every, every Latino I run into, so I know a lot of Cubans. Oh, fuck. So I got to ask no, you're no. lost. Yeah. 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 They're not even close. No, okay. They're not. They it, speak a different hey. language. Yeah. Listen, they're sand. So here's the thing I was going to say was <laughs> that was the most racist thing. That was you the most racist. That was the most racist thing. Racist thing, racist thing yeah. Yeah. I'm offended. <laughs> You might as well be from. He's 5%. just got qualified. He's offended. <laughs> other, How other, do you feel? The other fifteen percent of Brady is pissed. <laughs> like the other fifteen percent. <laughs> the other fifteen percent gets what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Right. yeah. What you're saying. Yeah. The other fifty percent is not white. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I think we. But go on with your racist thing. Go. <laughs> well, I was going to say. Okay, so I know you know this song. No sa, no sa, así la se te mata. Is that bad, Bunny? <laughs> no, no, don't you walk out on me. Don't you fucking. <laughs> you know, I'm talking about though. It's despacito. What? Okay. Keep going. Despacito. Da, 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 I like gasolina. Tomo tu cosita. Oh, oh, and a gasolina. So, Tomo tu cosita. Let me, let me ask you this. Beat in jail. How's the masturbation thing? How does that work? Does that just never happen? Or do you oh, it happens. Right? What about for you? So everyone, so where I was classified as level one, it wasn't open. Yeah. At first, mm -hmm. at first it was open, but then it got down to like you have your own little section or whatever. And there's like little cards that you put outside. Mm -hmm. If you have a green card outside, then you're good. If you have a red card, it means you're masturbating in there. So, what? So, when people are like walking by and they see the red card or like something red outside their current, like, oh, that dude's like dragging off. Don't disturb him. No, Ken, so that's kind of like the sock on the door. Yeah. Speaking Holy of masturbation, we have another question to add to that. Very what, true. Which is? Are you a dry guy or do you use lotion? Marlon's definitely a dry All guy. All day. What? You say lotion? All day, baby. There we go. No, 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 it's no, dog, bro. no. no, no. Lotion all day, baby. This is ridiculous. He thought for sure he had another dry guy because you're Mexican. Yeah, I, I, no, no, I'm Mexican. 
No, dude, I'm just Just because we live in the desert doesn't mean we don't have no, lotion, I'm, all right, I'm, Hunter? I'm, I'm, <laughs> bro, they make the most authentic lotion there is. Yeah. yeah. The thing is, is they I'm got saying, agave. I'm saying. <laughs> 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 Dude, that's what I'm saying. I was at least gonna say aloe. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, dog. I was gonna say aloe vera. I was like, for uh, sure. Aloe vera is for sunburns, bro. Yeah, what the fuck? It's lotion. No. My you, you ever jerked off with it? Because let me tell you, it don't feel as good as it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> aloe vera, yeah. Well, you, you were saying, Hunter? Burns. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, my thing is this. I felt like after a hard days of work, we don't got the time. We have the time to fucking lotion that shit up. We just trying to get done. See, that's for where you. We, we ul- that's the ultimate yeah. white guy lazy com- comment. Like it's just, <laughs> it's just you don't love oh, it. We, we don't. Get, I don't we, we make time. We make time for that, Hunter. We make time. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bro, I make time for it's that. A ma- shit. It's a matter of loving yourself. No, this, yeah. yeah. Do you have yeah. respect for yourself? Yeah. Yeah. No, obviously I not. No, they, because I I like to do role playing. I'm like, hey, this brick layer is. Fucking Interesting to Brick talk layer. about. It's interesting. Of Mexican. Oh, okay. yeah. interesting for this guy to talk about having respect for himself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. yeah, if I'm going to touch people, do it right. Other people, fuck off. Yeah, it's going to be wet, lotiony, or greasy, one or the other. Yeah. <laughs> so it's great to have you, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bro. You're really upset he's not a dry guy. I am. That that kind of threw me for a call, uh, curveball. Wait, uh, is that because of Mexican? Fucking psycho No, murders. they're not going to get in our head. Is they're it because of Mexican? So I, Mario, I, interesting stat: one in nine dry guys are serial Zach, killers. Zach, I, really? I got some lotion for you downstairs if you ever want to. You know, <laughs> make, make, make the turn. Make the turn to the right side. You know, I mean, Fred Durst was a dry guy. Jeffrey Dahmer um, was a dry guy. No, <laughs> these are fake statistics. No, these How are do you know? Real. How does Brady know? I looked it up. Yeah, you did. You want to see my search history? Uh, on what computer? <laughs> my cell phone. <laughs> 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 it is work one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's searching on. Brady, we can't have you doing this. <laughs> Brady, you're fired. Why? You're looking up how serial killers jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's an honest question. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, um, I, I tell you what. Let's take one more little break. We'll close up. and Because uh, I got to pee. Okay. Let's do right. it. You can't right. just go piss A little bathroom quick. break? No, because it's all about me. All right, so we'll come right back. <laughs> it's because he's white. Yeah. Yeah. Every I hate time. white people, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh. hey, what? Do you see that him? Privilege. He got the 85% yeah. and you're completely changed. Your... He's always had that 80%, all right? He's always had it. This is bullshit. <laughs> this is bullshit. Oh, like always said, he's better than Scooby. I just you embrace who I that's am. That's a fucking fact, it's Mario. A, not you a fact. only picked it because you're on the ethnicity couch. You try to be different. That's the <laughs> only reason why. That's that okay, is the only that reason is okay, why. Okay, so you uh, try to stand Hunter, out. Hunter, Hunter, Hunter. Let me Hunter, go for the other Hunter, 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 Hunter. Hunter. Let me be honest right now, right? Please. Every, the whole, please. Everything we've I've said in the past has been all nothing but jokes. All right. But yeah. That was really racist. <laughs> no. <shut laughs> the fuck. That was. I tell you what. If if vote for Scooby Doo's racist. I'm fucking Donald Trump. No, you said ethnicity <laughs> count. This, you said ethnicity count. Yeah, that was the racist that part. That was the racist part. Thank you, Brady. <laughs> I sit on that couch every week. We'll be week back in a little anything. bit. <laughs> Me and Mario, Don't you sign us off. we're brothers of blood <laughs> Don't now, baby. Don't you sign us off. We'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> Welcome back to Stuck and Static. We took a little break there to figure out the last part of the segment, which is our improv situation we're trying to do. Mm. So I've talked about this with Paris a little bit, and I've talked about this with Mario. And no matter... What's that, Hunter? No, <laughs> Damn. No matter what? any way I try to give us a set, it turns out that I'm just racist. Well, so, yeah, bro, you are. Yeah. Listen, I'm telling you. <laughs> Keep going. What, what, are some, <laughs> what are some of the scenarios you want to do? Ever since I started identifying as a Mexican man tonight, you have been racist. No, right? don't lie to me, you Amish son of a bitch. I know for a fact. Now you're <laughs> racist against Amish. <laughs> What, you never seen a Mexican Amish do before? <laughs> right there. Dude, that is a breed. <laughs> that, tell me them shikos on that roof will not get put up fucking <laughs> fast. That wow. is racist, bro. Wow. No, it's not. Wow. Oh, yes. Wait, no, dude. Yes. yes. No, no yes. that is a business. I'm, no, that Mexican is a business. Mexican Amish. Thing. You don't keep <laughs> you I, I, thought, I thought I was just going to come here for a podcast. Look, dude, no, I have to deal with this every really? single fucking really? week. So I think someone else with some melanin has to deal with it, too. I appreciate No, I get it. I get it, dude. I feel Targeted right now. Do you know all the fucking Japanese jokes I have to hear? Oh, he'll don't just randomly just be like, oh, don't you mean you? and just like, I just have to listen to that. Well, because I thought you. <laughs> He's not one. He's not uh, one. He got muted. <laughs> I thought I, that's what I Paris know. liked. <laughs> I thought because dude, why? Why yeah. did you think that? Why? Because I'm trying to like be sexual <laughs> in his native tongue. Mario, native tongue. Just one top, bro. <laughs> 
see what I'm saying, bro? Dude, they're no, just what I deal with all the time. Paris is way more racist than the rest of us. I tell you that. And he gets off of it because he plays the Asian card. <laughs> he plays the Asian card. <laughs> Don't do this whole thing because wow. Asians love playing games. <laughs> I was going to say it, but there is no Asian card, right? Are you saying that Japanese people are tricky and sneaky? Is that what you're saying right now? Have you ever seen North Korea? Yeah, some dude. tricky motherfuckers, man. Uh, they're, dude, they're playing the biggest game. It's called communism. <laughs> it's, hey, Pearl Harbor was pretty damn tricky. <laughs> it was, damn. We got you, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, but who won? So, so I, right. I, I'll say it's Yeah, but everyone's addicted eating. to hentai. Who actually won? <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me I'll say a random sing. Uh, sing. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> sing, sing. Uh, I was going to say. I'll randomly say something, and then and then Dylan will drop a Pearl Harbor quote, and then I'm still the fucking <laughs> because because, because he's only done that like maybe two times this whole podcast. And he's You've done it, says it two times every fucking five minutes. I feel like. <laughs> well, um, I'll tell yeah. you this. Um, I think it's because I've I've been with the people. Um, the I'm people. Integrated. What people? <laughs> the people. What do you mean, people? He's mad I know how to pick the moment better, so... You know, <laughs> what do you mean, people? Uh, yeah, your racist timing's off. Yeah, yeah. Your racist what, is what, what so is off, this, Hunter. What is this people you yeah, speak, speak of? Yeah, speak of, Hunter. Go ahead, back that up. So I want to say I'm glad to have Mario here. <laughs> I'm glad to be here, Hunter. Yeah, I fucking hope so. <laughs> he said, I'm glad to have a Mexican here. <laughs> really? Uh, there's been here one the whole time. Yeah. Any so we have an improv scene that <laughs> yeah, we like that's to do. <laughs> anyway, tonight's improv scene I won't be part right, so, of. So resetting, I'm, we are doing an improv scene. Yes, I'm take over um, for sure. We're, we're we're doing an improv scene. You always take over. And yeah. just like when they came to America, those cocksuckers. <laughs> Wait, Christopher Columbus. <laughs> Are you talking about white people or Mexicans? Yeah, I was uh, <laughs> very confused on that. I was talking about uh, white people. Oh, I was okay. talking shit about white Cause people. Because we were okay. here first anyway, yeah. so just saying. Yeah, that's I true. Don't like, I don't like those people. I don't either. Keep going, Hunter. No, uh, if anything, Mario, I feel like you have the greatest Aztec build I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. Aztec build. Please elaborate. Um, I'm not talking about the car. I'm saying that naturally, if no, bro, I was into Tochimen, no. I, there's no way Mario's running up a fucking mountain. I'll tell you that right now. There's no way. I've, I've, I've seen him, dude. He's I've got seen Mario. Fucking... No, I've seen Mario do a brisk jog and he's out. <laughs> look at that stocky Mario, on him. don't he's even look at me like that, Mario. <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I'm giving you credit, bro. Keep going. <laughs> I'm saying All if I was best. if I was being my heart was being sacrificed and as thick. Um, Just let him get it out of the system, Mario. Keep, yeah, there you go, go. Keep going. What I was gonna say was. Look good. You, you, you kill it. Yeah. So our scene this week, we were thinking, um, <laughs> <laughs> so since we have Mario, five people here, right? Uh, so we were thinking that we would do a... a uh, Hope the camera, uh, everyone on there, you just saw that. Yeah. He did hit. that. He's been in it the whole night. Don't even act like it. <laughs> He's been... So He's anyways, been the scene, uh, we thought maybe it'd be funny if we did, uh, it's our first time at Coachella, <sighs> me, Dylan, Hunter, and Brady, our first time at Coachella, and we are buying drugs from the local drug dealer there named Mario. Yes, Brady? So we're scrapping the Salvation Army. <laughs> yes. We're not doing penicillin shots in the Salvation <laughs> yeah. Army. That was a great idea, Brady. That was a great idea, Brady. That was a great idea. I was with you 100% Brady. That would have gotten really racist. Yeah. Okay. That would have gotten way done out of pocket. I wasn't setting up the story. <laughs> Thank you. We don't What's need What's the that. rest of it? <laughs> yeah. It seems exactly One of us has go. SARS. I wonder which one. <laughs> right. Anyway. That was Bears. That was. <laughs> you know, <laughs> keep going. That was a hate crime. I'm offended. <laughs> it's okay. It's about I my own too. people. Um, but yeah, so we're at Coachella first time uh, and we're buying drugs from wow. the drug dealer uh, that goes by none other, than, none other than Cholo. I can't fucking. Okay. Um, yes, yes, Brady. Brady. I'm Brady. just going to say this real quick about the scenario. There's nothing more boring than a drug deal. <laughs> no, don't let him get in your head. Yeah, what if we just he's, finish up real quick to say, yeah. oh, okay, hiccup, boom, thanks. <laughs> Here's what we're going to do. Find he's, not right. he's not right. He's, he's not right? He's right, he's right. That's true, though, yeah. There's the, yeah it's boring. Drug deal is right. most boring encounter. When, you, really when, is. when are you ever trying to be silly at a drug deal? I've never. Facts. No, <laughs> let's time, just, no, first let's time just ever end though. it right now, and then I'll come back next week or two weeks. Yeah. Yeah, that why might be a good is, idea. Why is Mario negotiating yeah. all this? Can Mario's Brady. taking control Brady. right now, yes, dude. Yes, Brady. Can we do this an episode smart, on the truck? This is smart. Absolutely. Can we can do that. Yeah, no. Oh. Okay, so this week, actually, we should shout out what you're doing this week. Yeah. Uh, you can catch us at Taco Trio. We'll try to be there yeah. Thursday night. Thursday, 
At uh, 5 o'clock, uh, we're doing a fundraiser for mental health awareness. Fuck 100% yeah, of man. the proceeds are going to oh, go dude. to NAMI, which is a local organization that deals with mental health awareness. Let's That's go. Awesome, I'm in there. Yeah. That's awesome. This is that, Thursday. We'll is that Thursday, the night yeah. uh, pick up a shift? Thursday, we'll be there. We'll talk. Bro. <laughs> you might be. You might. <laughs> You might. We'll, You're gonna we'll need talk. some extra help. It's gonna be a busy day. Yeah. You're yeah. actually not fucking wrong. <laughs> shit, you, we will need help. A lot of people got mental health problems, dude. I'll, yeah. I'll yeah. deep fry tortilla chips. I'll fucking wrap up burritos. I got, I got Pearl game on some burritos, bro. He does though. You, yeah, you I've seen think, it. Yeah. If you don't think I got some mental health shit, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. We will be there for but sure. Yeah. yeah. This, this, time, this Thursday, five o'clock, yeah. five to ten is we're gonna be having our food truck at and then well, at, how, at how the late Green At the Green Lantern. Yeah. The the food truck, the food pro part of it is gonna go from five five p.m. Till 10 p.m. Perfect. And then at 9 p.m., I got three local bands that are going to be performing from 9 p.m. until 11 30, 12. Let's oh, go. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. Yeah. All the proceeds are going to go towards it. So Green Lantern. Them? Yeah. All of them. Those going to rest 100%. You kind of give a quick shout out to the bands that are going to be performing? Yeah. Can, we, can I do a wrestling show out there to promote mental health? No. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, no. no. You're not running this. <laughs> I don't care. You're not doing wrestling anything near me. <laughs> Paris, we had enough. You're the ref, bro. <laughs> I'm the ref. Paris, hold on. Paris, okay. Hold on. Paris got that that wrestling. So the bands are good. Yeah. Over it. Yeah. The bands are going to be there that night. Are Poltergeist, Backburner, and Discount Denver are going to be there. That All right. Like All sing local sing bands. Well, yeah. guys, I will say this: if you're listening to the podcast, make sure to like and subscribe. Please, please do that. Swipe down. And if you don't, you're racist. Just saying. If. If you like racist content, swipe up. Yeah. If you find yourself hungry and needing a good meal, you can get it at Tacos, Tacos through Hill, at the Fish Tank Tuesday through Thursday, and then at the Green Lantern Fridays and Saturdays. Well, guys, we appreciate everyone coming in. As usual, stay stuck in. God damn it. You <laughs> <laughs> said a little bit too much. Stay stuck in the static, guys. Thanks for coming out. Thank you very much. Later.